Jumpers theme song at some point today. Just don't get ready for jumping. <laughs> Jump scares are in right now. <laughs> uh, what's the right year go? Oh, we did it! Yay! First try. <laughs> Even got the theme music on the first try. Right? I had to look it up, but I got it. Woo! <laughs> 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 I remember my first try. Hey, Spidey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whose else is open? That might be my phone. Jeez. All righty, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us for How Doomed Are We? This is part four of our playthrough of the Blackened Earth campaign, and there's a chance we could finish chapter one today. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow. But you know what end of the chapter usually means? Oh, we get fate points back. That's um, not in this game. <laughs> we're all going to die. Do we get a level? The beginning of a new chapter? <laughs> after, yeah, after that. For some of us. Yeah, uh, yeah, if we, do <laughs> if finish, we make it. If we do finish chapter one, we will finally get some experience and talk about how to spend that. Uh, cause oh, I, I need, don't want to learn rules. I'll I need to die. read those rules again. Yeah. Because uh, we haven't <laughs> needed it for so long. Uh, experience in this game is interesting because you'll get like two or three points of experience and that's it. Oh, but you can still do stuff with that experience. Like, like what? 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 <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, you can like buy new talents. Oh. Is like the big thing. Uh, which gives you a lot more stuff to do. I think wizards can get new spells. That kind of stuff. Spell! Cool stuff for bettering stuff. Uh, um, don't we also get, like, we can add in more training and focus to things? Or? Yes. Yeah. Can we, yeah. like, go clubbing? Oh, can we go clubbing? Sure. Actually, the, I'm sure the city has clubs. The city is gigantic. <laughs> oh, she didn't mean, like, grab clubs and find seals. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us. If uh, you are checking this out later on the YouTube, uh, make sure to be following us on socials and join the Discord, which you should be able to do with the uh, show notes uh, to know when we are going live with this on Twitch at twitch.tv slash professional casual network. You just broke Foundry. What'd you do? I literally didn't do anything. Daniel. Mine's still working. <laughs> turn it off, turn it back on again. <laughs> We've been having some technical difficulties difficulties today. My mouth is having difficulties speaking. Uh, but thank you so much, everybody that is watching, whether you're live or checking it out later. Uh, big, big thank you to everybody that's gone to patreoncom slash professional casual uh, to join the Patreon there to help support the network, uh, especially our King Ding Doppeldongers, X Paxis, Crab. Iron Maze and Tau, and our professional cake sitters, James, Cliff Jumper, Dagna, Cider Drinker, Tony Hot Hands, Otis, Leroy, Wizard Skills, Bicon, and Briar Mage. Woo! Really, really appreciate everybody that's gone over there to check that out. Uh, we also have some free Soulbound stuff over there, just um, like signing up for Patreon. You can get a little bit of our early stuff when we were testing out the system and the group. That's there for free. Let me see if I can unbreak it. Like jumpstart Foundry a little bit here. Go to a different. It gave me a warning that was like, "Hey, you can't squeegee L with your current computer." What is that? Squeegee L. Web G L. I was close. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what you are saying. Uh, okay, so little recap uh, to remind ourselves and listeners. Uh, last week uh, we were playing the Blackened Earth campaign from Cubicle Seven. We got it right here. Bam! And we are in the middle of what's called the Ghoul Mare. Uh, in the realm of life, you are currently on a mission to go to uh, the city of Greywater Fastness. We just got to go pick up that sword, right? Real quick. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, <laughs> to find out why uh, super important um, ammunition and weapons for the continuing war efforts in other realms has not come for two weeks. It's a big deal. This city is known for producing tons of weaponry. And you were sent here with a group of iron well cogsmiths led by Captain Hines in a giant walking steam tank that I forget the name of for a second. A cog fort. A cog fort. And it was attacked by Skaven and run off the road and destroyed and you had to flee the wreckage. Otherwise you would have been overwhelmed by the Skaven, the Ratmen. Uh, you have been surviving in the jungles 
of the realm of life for a few days. Uh, you've recently reached the ghoul mare where you met a branch wraith that was stuck in a tree uh, with a big old cycle stone sword stuck through her. Uh, that you had uh, a lot of discussion about, do you keep it? Because it's an actually very powerful weapon that would really improve your party's uh, combat effectiveness. Or do you give it back to her? And since she was a Sylvaneth and Mike's character is a Sylvaneth, he really championed giving it back. Whereas Tim's character, Doug, really did not want to. Thank you for skipping over how I literally, like, extorted information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some questionable things going on here, but that's how it goes. Uh, and then you met Max the Courier on a rattle trap, who was trying to get to... Oh, that's right. Uh, he had, like, broken through the cordon and was trying to get there as well. Uh, so now he's traveling with you. Uh, you found... Uh, you were attacked by some Kurnoth hunters. Uh, <laughs> Doug had a miscast that made everybody invisible to the enemies except him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that one, where it just does the opposite of what you want it to. Yeah. I want to be invisible! Okay. <laughs> I didn't Everybody like but that you. As much, yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, and Worked then, out for the rest of us. Right? I, I wrote that you you guys wrecked the hunters. Um, and Rachel came up with a really great uh, strategic plan to um, kind of like hold an action till they came into her reach, and then she would attack. Uh, I forget what that was. Uh, yeah, the actual what maneuver was is called, but that was really good. Tuber just said, oh baby, it's me, Tuber, and I'm here to say I've never watched this, which is more than I've ever watched Elite Eight <laughs> <laughs> Richie, don't tempt him. Tim sent your recording. Can you come tank the dungeon? Actually, yeah. No, his pop computer came. <laughs> <today. laughs> Not this one, Richie. <laughs> uh, and then you met Chard Yu, uh, an ancient Sylvaneth tree lord who was very fun for me to play because he talked very slowly. And I had a lot of fun just interrupting people as he continued his sentence. People? You mean Doug? <laughs> Mostly, Doug. I feel like I did it to you a few times as well. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, but that was real fun for me. So we will... Um, I think he... I forget exactly where we left off. I forgot to watch the last little Oh, we had just gotten time. the sword back, and I think we were heading away from the Swamp Mire. Uh, well, yeah, swamp Dread Mire. No. <laughs> the the Ghoul Mire. But yeah, that one. We're right at the fort, I thought. Yeah, you had just reached oh, a bridge. Oh, um, yeah. And you oh. found the trail of ghost lights um, for the one road uh, that helps keep undead at bay, since this is called the Ghoul Mare. Obviously, there's going to be ghouls and other undead in it. Uh, but then you realize that the city is under siege by a vast army of Skaven. Oh, shit. Because you were told that you would hear the guns going off before you got to the city. And you're like, wait, I thought they only went off every hour. And it was like, oh, no, they've been going off for days, weeks. Mm. It's a celebration, probably. Yeah, yeah, totally. So you see a, a very large army of Skaven. So to start today, uh, real quick, uh, especially since people have said this is the first time watching, uh, we'll go around the horn, uh, let people know a little bit who you are, who you're playing, um, even if you just want to say your name, your character's name, and like their um, archetype. We'll go with Rachel first, because she just grabbed her stuff. Yeah, I had to, like, <laughs> refresh. <laughs> um, I am Darius Swifthand, a Black Arc Corsair, and I have a sword and a crossbow, which uh, they've come in, come in handy. Um, kind of a mercenary privateer, uh, but, you know, I am looking for my next big trophy kill along this way. Because I am a hunter of the beasts. Nice. Mike? Oh. <laughs> who are you? Uh, Mike, I play Soil, who is a Sylvanath branch witch. Um, I have apparently some weird tendencies of aggression. Uh, <laughs> this is not a very fun <laughs> welcome home for soil. And yeah, Dan's trying to kill me. That No, I'm trying to kill everyone. I feel a little targeted. <laughs> I should specify. I'm trying to kill all the player characters. <clears throat> Accurate. That's my job. <laughs> I don't know if that's in the job description, bud. I think it literally is. Is it really? Show me. <laughs> I'm playing the monsters as the monsters would act, you know, or enemies, mm -hmm. and often they want to kill you. Maybe they you can come be into their territory. You try to steal their sword. I can try to steal a sword. Well, perception is mm -hmm. a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. 
So who are you, Tim? Whose sword uh, are you not stealing? Or wait. So I'm Doug. <laughs> uh, Debbie not. De yeah, Debbie not. Uh, <laughs> Debbie not. Debbie not. <laughs> For those of you catching up, yes, it means that Doug, if you catch that douche. reference. Uh, yeah, kind of a douche. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm an elf shadow stalker. I have all sorts of dope magic and ways to make people forget me or not see me or make myself so insanely visible that uh, it hurts me when I get hit a bunch. Uh, that was fun. Uh, regularly prone to being prone and <laughs> just kind of hanging out for a bit. It does happen a shocking amount. <laughs> if he gets knocked down, he will not get he back He will up. not get back up again. <laughs> <laughs> and how about Jess? And Jess is Hella, the Dwarden Doomseeker. So if Dan's trying to kill everyone, I'm not doing a great job because I am actively trying to die. But only in an honorable <laughs> way because of my traumatic background that no one knows. Not yet. Uh, not yet, yes. But I, my traumatic background has forced me to take a vow of honorable death. Dan, getting called out today right now. Right? I love that. <laughs> what was it? Bash things with a Okay. With you do it really well, too. I can already just see him. It's like, all right, I'm going to kill this person with this. <laughs> Chat said Dan being a monster. Big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, Tubert, a different Jess. Not Jess from Tunnel of South. Oh, I need to plug in my computer before it dies. Alrighty, so, little recap, little recap of who our players are. Uh, so, yeah, you see the city a couple miles away. You're still not, like, right there. But this huge army of Skaven, they're, from where you can see, you can see tens of thousands of Skaven. Big monster creatures. They've got big old war machines zapping green lightning at the walls. They've got catapults flinging who knows what that looks like steaming filth. Just, uh, it's, it's really gross. Uh, and all <laughs> kinds of other stuff happening. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, but they are between you and where you need to go. Uh, you know the ghoul mare in the jungle is not particularly safe. Uh, you are within the ghost lights, but as far as you understand, they only ward off undead. And clearly there's a lot more than undead here, because I don't think we've actually seen any of these undead. Yeah, but which 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 stinks less at this point? Does, does the wall that's getting covered in crap, or does the, the goal mare? Because I, I don't know about getting that close. <laughs> right. Uh, so to set the scene a little bit, it says you are haggard and hungry. You know that supplies are scant. The ghoul mare around you won't provide anything safe to survive on apart from firewood to keep you warm. In the eyes of your companions and the Cogfort's remaining survivors, you see the grim truth of your shared situation. That in order to survive, you must make it past the walls of the city, even with the Skaven forces in your way. You're protected for the moment, surrounded by the relative safety of the ghost lights. You have some time to plan your inev inevitable assault, but you know that you shouldn't linger on the one road for long. The ghost lights may hold back the dead, but you feel that they won't do much against the ratmen and whatever beasts lurk nearby. Oh, great. So, all in favor of sending Doug first since he can just shadow walk? Mm. Yeah. I mean, I can go ahead and check it out if you really need to, but. Mm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Captain Hines steps up and he kind of puts his hands on his shoulder, uh, shoulders, that would be like this, on his <laughs> hips. On my hips? On his own <laughs> hips. Oh. He just holds you gently by the hips and shoves you forward. <laughs> no, he puts his hands on his hips and he just kind of looks and he's like, well, I don't think uh, going down the road to the front gate is going to be possible. Uh, but there is a smaller gate at the uh, second spoke. How far away is that? I mean, we'd have to loop around the army as much as we could to be a few hours through the mare. We could potentially find a place I could send up a signal to the walls. I know the semaphore code. Will showing off any signal to the watch let uh, the many, many rat people out here know where we are as well? Yep. Hmm. Do you believe there's any way we can attack from two sides to help defend the front gate. I mean, if you've got a way to ply your way through a few thousand Skaven, then sure. If we had the cog fort, I'd gladly just march right through them, but, well, 
Now I know that wouldn't really work based on what happened in the jungle. I could um, bring us one at a time, probably into the cog fort. Are you able to do that? I yes, I I can. You know, I could summon a sh shadowy horse, and it could fly us right in. A steed of shadows, as it were. <laughs> Let's just bypass this whole thing. I don't want to muck around with any rat people. I'm just like envisioning what the opposite of that would be. <laughs> <laughs> Two shadow horses. And I don't know if I want to be part of that. <laughs> you just accidentally transport yourself to the realm of shadows instead. <laughs> and replace myself with a horse. Yeah. <laughs> just a regular horse is there all confused. Yeah. <laughs> Are we even able to touch it if it's made of shadows? Oh, yes, I ride it all the time. <laughs> the captain's like, well, uh, we could scout ahead a little bit and see if there's a place we want to try to get to to signal them. It's not just flat terrain here, so. Well, that's why we just go over it, right? We don't go through it? No, well, I mean, you could. But I wouldn't suggest it. I've gone through, you know, things before, and it generally hurts. Mm. We could go under it. Mm. What yeah. do you mean under it? Dig a uh, tunnel. In a swamp. I thought Tim was starting oh. a reference to that like <laughs> campfire song. No, I like I, I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. You got it good. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try to summon my shadow steed, uh, Nathaniel. Can't wait to see this fail. <laughs> 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 What exactly does the Steed of Shadows do? It's his horse and it flies. And it's made of shadows. This horse is it, amazing. How does it fly? It's a sh it's made of shadows. Shadows don't really have much weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, you had this before? <laughs> well, I couldn't, I couldn't carry everybody. So it, it seemed rude to do it myself. To be honest, I'm more shocked that you just haven't been using it to, you know, not walk in the swamp. Mm. I like, yeah, it's fair. <laughs> but I don't, you know, you can't play your hand too early. Uh, I will fail. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well. All fails. You have four <clears throat> dice and every single one was a fail. I have a, I have a training or a focus or something, I'm sure. I could turn that four to a five. Ugh. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> yes, focus, one available. Because you're looking at channeling. Yes, you do have one focus. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Then I'll have, I'll have Nathaniel for an hour. Does that get rid of the price of failure? Yes. I don't believe you at <laughs> all. I wouldn't look it up. I think we can save so much time if we don't. Magic, spell casting. Yeah, it's been a little while since we've done this. Looking at the uh, foundry... Uh, <laughs> I forget what it's called, the CR rolls and everything. It was 41 days ago was the last one. Jay Matthews says, by the way, Tim, I'm so happy your beard is back and no longer make my children cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm also happy it's back. I hated it being not here. <laughs> okay, it's just if you fail at all. So getting, you only needed one success for that spell? Mm-hmm. I'm just making sure. Yeah, I'm just going to bypass your whole plans for today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have a steed of shadows. Mm -hmm. You've got a shadow horse. A shadow horse. What do you My call it? My horse is amazing. Nathaniel. <laughs> Did you say that already? Yes, I twice. Already? Oh, well. Just good job. Just because shadow doesn't mean he's not a real horse. <gasps> Nathaniel. You're hurting his shadowy feelings. Correct. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, so I'm going to call a, him Natty Dark. It, <laughs> it has a fast fly speed. That's true. Uh, it can That's fit two. Quick. So we could just, you know, go... Two at a time. Yeah. Oh, it's got wings. Mm -hmm. I thought it just kind of flew like a Santa's reindeer. No, it's nothing like Santa's reindeer. It's a horse of shadows, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Uh, what is this shadow pegasus? That's right. And it's ethereal? Mm-hmm. All right. So who would like to come first? <laughs> Captain Hines. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Captain Hines is like, um, well, that's all good for you, but the rest of us still need to get inside the walls. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I was just talking about us four. 
Fantastic. That way we can, you know, let them know that you're out here, that the Cogs Fort is Cogs dead. And, uh, you know. Shouldn't we then let the captain go so he can inform whoever's no, I can't on? leave all my crew here. Right. I appreciate it, but no, I will. We'll, what if we we'll send make the our way to the. Guy? Oh, that's Rogue actually a splendid game. idea. Yes, the messenger fellow. Yeah. What about him? We can bring him. He's like, yeah, absolutely. Right? Uh, Captain, you can have my rattle trap. Wow, look at that. Garbage. <laughs> Isn't it very broken? It's not very broken. It's, 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 it's actively broken. Doug, no, I mean, Doug, it was Doug, like. Doug, we talked about this. We don't call other people's things garbage to their face. It, I, was it wasn't to his face. He's so short. It was kind he's of right, to his forehead. He's right there. <laughs> no, it was working. He was running away on it before. Oh, I thought it was busted. No, nah, he just. Uh, he's seen. It's seen. It's seen some action. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, I'll bring the messenger, and he probably knows this place and who we can talk to, and a, a, an underground passage or back door, or something we can slip in. Hmm. So, how quick do you think this is going to be? A mm, couple minutes. It flies very fast. Very fast. You're a few miles away still. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Huh. <laughs> how do I even turn that down? My soulbound session. This channel does everything I love. MCP. Soulbound. Wow. Listen, we're here to please. <laughs> That's awesome. Who's that? The grave crawler? Mm -hmm. Nice. I recognize that name. Thank you for a the sub. A few miles out. So how long Scared would it us. take to fly a few miles via Shadow Horse? Um, so you need to double check. Like, um, well, the how next... fast fast is. You know what I mean? My next question with that is how out in the open are going to be with this? Are they going to see you? Oh, I plan to go up into kind of cloud cover. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't think they can throw things that high. They have short arms. They also, they also have long-range weaponry that we've seen before. Mm, yeah, but they don't attack clouds with it, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. And so once you get in, you're just going to drop them off and then come right back? Oh, I could do that, too, yeah. What was your original I was gonna grab thought? Some, I was going to grab something to eat. Maybe a nap? I mean, we're miles away, I just heard. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> nap. Wow. <laughs> Doug's the worst. I mean, I, I could come back, I suppose. <laughs> so how long will this take? Should the rest of us just continue a little bit closer? Oh, that would make my return trips much faster. And potentially look for... <laughs> Maybe we should head for the other side yes. a little bit. Yeah, and I'll let them know plan you guys on, are coming. And plan on meeting us back at the at the side gate. entrance. Okay, I could do this. If if Burnt you is still coming along with us, he would serve as a marker for you to find us. Oh, that's actually very fair. Yeah, I could uh, look out for the burning tree man. Burning man. Yes. <laughs> Some would call him. <laughs> <laughs> Seems untowards. I was burned, not currently burning. <laughs> I can't remember if he left yet or not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wow. think, didn't he leave? I think he did. I, I, thought, he, he, I thought he was. He walked there. off like really slowly or something. I think yeah. He oh, he still like, left. He's still right seat. there. But yes, <laughs> he taking him off. He had left. <laughs> he's just still within like hearing and speaking distance. He's like what twenty feet tall. <laughs> and he, like... yeah. Um, but yeah, Captain Hines is like, well, while we're, we're figuring out what Doug's plan is, I think the rest of us should start making our way around to the, uh, you know, uh, number two gate there. Yeah, so I'll take off with the messenger. Okay. Uh, so you take off with the messenger. I will say you can still be part of this next test because you could be like, oh, I maybe if you get some successes, you could be you could call back and be like, I see something over here. Um, so everybody make a 4-1 mind awareness or mind survival test. Wait. 
<laughs> the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, Chat's never it? particularly Mind. nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's one Mind of the joys awareness. of chat. Yeah, but somebody also picked up on Captain Hines. Or mine, yeah. what? Survival. Survival. Ooh, okay, yeah, let's do survival. Uh, what was the first one? Mind. Awareness or survival. Oh, this is for everybody? Yes. Oh. I'm going to see how many total successes you all get. And a training as I get an extra dice? What are we shooting for yeah, as far as a DN? Uh, I forgot what I said. Wait, so Four. if mine is two and my survival is three, Three with the training. Do I get five dice or six? Look at awareness. Looks like you should have two dice. Nathaniel and I have rolled no, three survival. successes. Or survival, you have three dice. This is a mind test? Mm -hmm. Three. But then I have training, right? So I get an extra. Or it's just three with the training. Yeah, because your mind is two. Okay, and got then it. You only have training. I always have forget how to figure survival. that out. And I, well, it's been it's 41 days. And a three six. And what is this? Okay. What is this? A you need four, one, four. one or... However many four pluses you get. Okay. So we have three so far. I got two. Five. Uh, it's because my two. vantage point up here with Nathaniel's just so good. I mean, fair, actually. Got two. Two? And See Hella? Zero. No. So that's seven total? Yeah. Pretty good. That's, that's good. It's exceptional. We will survive. Mm, I wouldn't go so far as to say exceptional, but not bad. Super? Superb. Gold star? Mm. What's below? <laughs> it gra we'll call it great. great. Okay. <laughs> okay. A minus, yeah. Because uh, you didn't get eight plus successes. Well, what so. about the messenger with me? Can he make a mind awareness test? No. Why? He's not looking? He has his eyes closed? What about the horse? Nathaniel, yes. <laughs> Can you speak with this shadow horse? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. He rolled nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Ones and twos. That's what you get for me. Almost full critical fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, so you see, a few of you see like this thicket of sickly bushes and fallen rotten tree trunks. You're like, oh, we could hide in there. No. And then uh, be with his higher vantage point, Doug calls out and he says, um, so I'll just, so Tim can role play this for us appropriately as Doug. You oh, see, I was waiting for you to try and be Doug. Come on. I almost did, but I don't want to take his agency. I saw him start off. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went into, well, over there. Uh, but you see a wrecked, uh, half sunken in the mire steam tank. Oh, dear. There's a wrecked half in the mire steam tank over there. <laughs> Partially Method. buried, all mucky though. Method actor over here. Mm. <laughs> we do do math. <laughs> Heinz is he like has a little per or not periscope? That's when you're down below. Telescope. Just a little telescope. It's a ketchup thing. bottle. <laughs> with a magnifying glass in the back. Spyglass. That's the word mm -hmm. I was looking. At. I think I lost that word last time too. <laughs> and he he looks at it and he's like, oh, I see it now. Yes, we can uh, make our way to that steam tank. I can. Maybe there's an extra flare still inside, and I can let the wall know. But again, that'll also let the Skaven know. True. I don't know if there's a way around that to well, let them know where we are. Isn't that why Doug is flying with the messenger right now? Yes. You wouldn't need to alert them if I'm doing it for you. We're... A ways away now. I have great. I just rolled three successes on my awareness. I can hear anybody talking crap about Doug. Yeah, they can't hear you though. That's fine. <laughs> you have messengers you're, just with. I'm Doug. telling the messenger. Right, you're in your she's on the horse. He's like turning around, like yelling back over his shoulder. Messenger's like, what? <laughs> what? what? Actually, how would your horse? Would it like, you know, gallop, or would it like float? Yes, I think it's like the intro of, what is it, Universal Movies, where it had the Pegasus go uh, and stop. So yeah, it probably floating. gallops a little bit, moving I'm, his little I'm, feet. Just the way you described it, I'm just like thinking the horse doesn't actually move at all. It just, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like the horse figurines that's like their feet yeah. their four are like permanently like this, and they're just like... I assumed he'd be doing a little doggy paddle. <laughs> I imagine it's like that TikTok where the people have the water running and they're holding up this puppy by the mirror and it, it's like it's doggy paddling but not in the water yet. It cuts to that vine of the mini horse like doing the Vanessa car, making my way down. Yes. <laughs> Oddly enough, because, of course, because of course it's Doug, so it's yeah. got to have an attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, uh, all of my summons play Vanessa Carlson when I summon them. <laughs> Wait a minute. All? There's more? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Wait, you have more than just a horse? I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't think so, but I might. She's, she's keeping these under wraps here. Aye, aye, aye. He doesn't want you to take advantage of his spell casting because he, you know, fails so often. <laughs> I don't True. need them to know how often I miscast. <laughs> they are usually pretty aware of it. All righty. So uh, do you start making your way to this wrecked steam tank? I guess so. Might as well. All right. So Captain Hines does uh, uh, ride astride that rattle trap, and it keeps going. <laughs> it's making this kind of interesting sound as it tries to gallop like a horse, but it's like a clockwork mechanism. Um, and you see this is, it's still a ways away. Like, um, it makes sense that Doug got a little more successes there and was able to see it. Uh, um, the captain found it with the spyglass, but the rest of you did not because it was like from your vantage point, you couldn't really see it. Because again, it's not perfectly flat here, uh, just relatively flat. Um, so, Tim, I want you to make... No, thank you. <laughs> See, what would be appropriate here? No, what if he asked you to make another one of your delicious sandwiches? Oh, I should probably make one while I'm up here. I am <laughs> famished. Give me a body beast handling. Ugh. Sorry, soul beast handling. Why roll. beast? It's not a beast. Then what is it? It's a steed of shadows, Daniel. That's true. It's magical. Does it actually say? Let's see. A coal black creature with wings of night materializes from the darkness, ready to bear you where you wish. Choose a point in your zone. A winged horse made of swirling shadow appears at the point you choose. The creature remains for one hour, after which it simply drifts away as wisps and smoke of shadow. Each additional success, blah, blah, blah. The creature is a spirit. It has the riding horse trait, and it has a fly, a fly fast speed. It takes half damage from non-magical attacks and can pass through solid objects when not bearing a rider or carrying equipment. Right, doesn't make you ethereal. Correct, not yet. Charge of the jungle moment coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, I think what would be more appropriate here is make a body stealth test. Absolutely. I can do this for you. You're also very good at that. Mm -hmm. um, so let's make it a 5-2. Why? Because I'm good at it? Because that makes it an average... Difficulty. Mm. <laughs> I'm great. Hey. Six is two ones. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> half and half. Um, so as you're flying over the the horde of Skaven, you can see that there are again that like this is one section. Like the city is a circle, right? Yeah. You can see one section of the walls. The Skaven here that you can see even flying way above is. I don't know how to turn that down. I think it was so <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> I, I think mean, that would be this. I feel like that's pretty appropriate for... Would that also turn Jess down, though? Yes. <laughs> but I could turn Jess back up individually. Oh, okay. Uh, they, their numbers are just, like, innumerable. And you know they've been here for, like, days. There are just so many Skaven. Wow. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was such good timing again. Uh but it takes you a good 10 minutes or so to get to the walls because mm -hmm. you are flying. I can't find rules for like fast speed equates, equates to like what outside of combat. Right. Um, maybe it's in there and I just don't feel like looking that long for it. So we'll say it takes. <laughs> it's just swooping around on this horse. Uh, but the Skaven don't notice you and don't like take shots at you with their crazy range stuff. Um, and the rest of you are making your way through the ghoul mare. Uh, what do you do when you reach the walls? Well, I would like Doug. to uh, find somebody and be like, hello, <laughs> there's people out here who are trying to get in, and you seem to have a rat problem. <laughs> All right, so you... They're going to shoot at you. <laughs> right? <They> need to... <laughs> you need to find the rat mitigation team. So you land um, on the walls of the, the main gate here. The guy, um, the courier, Max, uh, kind of tells you, where to oh, go. yes, he could. He yes. goes back and forth. He's been here before. Mm -hmm. um, and he points out a uh, corporal. Yeah. He recognizes. Uh, he's, oh, that's a corporal of the Grey Caps down there. I, I don't know her name, but she. I could see the, like, the, that hat she's wearing is special. We should talk to her, probably. Lady Grey Cap, hello. Or you should talk to her. Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> um, so I Such put a, a token of her down there so you can see what she looks like. Um, she kind of looks up at you like. What? Hey, what? <laughs> Accurate description right now. <laughs> Accurate. Oh, what's that? 
What? <laughs> Something about Tim eating pizza like a chipmunk? <laughs> That's an ad for Elite Eight Showdown? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, like, you said, hey, listen, but you didn't say <laughs> Bro. All right. Uh, so you land on top of the wall here, and you recognize this person as a fellow elf. Hello. I'm Doug. I'm a soulbound. We have some more outside, as well as a bunch of people from the Cogs Fort. It was wrecked by also rat people. Is there a way I can get them into the city safely? Or should I just wait here? I'm oh, sorry, you have, um, you're from where? Um, you know, that place. I didn't write it down. You came from Fort Festermare. Fort yeah, Festermare. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that place. Uh, we were oh. sent to, uh, you know, see why no supplies have been coming in for uh, the last little How many while. did you bring with you? How many what? People? Soldiers. Soulbound? Oh, I don't know. Soulbound? Yes, yeah, so four total soulbound, right? And then... Well, soulbound with you? Maybe a dozen people left. Most of them died. In Is the, that bad? Well, they, they overturned the cog forts and... Uh, Who did? The rat people! <laughs> There's even more out in the jungle? There are! This is worse than we thought. Is this how? Oh uh, el- yes, if we can get Soulbound in the city. This is city. how elves usually talk to each other. <laughs> uh, where are they? Can you? Oh, they're know? they're by that broken thing out there, uh, off to the side. Uh, there was a, a I don't know. <laughs> she looks at Max and she's like, "Can you help me determine where they are?" And he's like, "I, I think so. Yeah." Great. She's like, "Are you one of the?" the he's a messenger. Or? We picked him up on a rattle trap. He was stuck or something. He's like, yeah, I work for the, the Rattletrap Courier people. And she's like, oh. I you guess. hate to see it. <laughs> Is that Happy Habit just going through all the sounds? <laughs> <laughs> that one was from Anonymous. Oh, nice. Um, he's like, yeah, 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 I can tell you. Um, so they are discussing this for a bit. And we'll go back to those of you in the mare. As you are pushing your way through, uh, Heinz is like, we should move quickly, but still try to keep our heads down if best we can. Luckily, that huge tree man left. He'd be uh, giving us away very easily. While the Skaven's attention is clearly on the city, I'm sure they still have some kind of rear guard. They're we're not. Both losers, baby, <laughs> losers. It's okay. Such a great song. It I didn't is. know that was a thing. On there. Yep. <laughs> uh, they keep making me lose my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Uh, what was I even saying? <laughs> How far away are we from the sunken steamship? Uh, it'll be quite a while. Oh, is it tra- we got to look out for any rear guard. It could be, especially when one of your party just peaced out. I tried to bring someone. They didn't want to ride. That's true. Well, Hella said she would go last, so she was all, she accepted the offer. Oh, gotcha. Just deferred past like twenty people. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. So to be able to move quickly and keep your heads down, everybody needs to make a uh, body stealth test with uh, count upending four pluses you have as successes. So this is another group test. I'm going to tally your successes together. To see if you get enough to sneak past. Two. That's a good start. Four plus. plus again? Four plus. Four. <laughs> Can I use focus? <laughs> Woo! Yes. Two fives. Okay, and I have two successes. Okay, so that is just enough. Normally it'd be a, a four eight test uh, with four of you, but I reduced it uh, by two since there's one of you missing, and you got to what I was looking for with six. Successes, so you're able to um, kind of skirt your way around a group of straggling clan rats of Skaven that are kind of like hanging back, uh, maybe taking a little break from the fight or something. Uh, you're able to get past them without them noticing. Good. Otherwise, you would have to fight two swarms of clan rats. Great. Uh, so as you get past, uh, so Doug, do you let Max take care of things and fly back? Yeah, so I see kind of what way I should be heading, and then head, try to head that way. Okay. Uh, so give me another 5-2 uh, body stealth test as you fly back over the Skaven army. Uh-oh. 
I'm actually going to make this... Very easy. No, we're going to make it a 6-1 <laughs> test instead. Is there, I just got to ask before he fully does this and everything. Is there is there the duck hunt sound in your... Because, uh... <laughs> you know... So you're flying from the walls now where they're all looking and ready. I'm fine with focus. Nice. Okay. So you're able to uh, evade their notice with this swirling. Maybe the sky is so dark full of sm um, smoke and soot and everything from all these weapons being fired that you're able to blend in well enough, especially with your shadow cloak mm -hmm. and a shadow steed. And after another, uh, this time it takes like... 12 minutes or so, because maybe you had to readjust course a little bit to find the rest of the group. But you do catch up with everybody else as they reach a uh, stretch of swampland composed of deep pools of toxic swamp water separated by narrow bands of relatively dry land. I'm gonna have I everybody don't make. like the feeling of Ew. this. Uh, does anybody have a natural awareness of two or more? Yes. 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 Soil and Doug do. Oh, um, just kidding. So you, <laughs> yes, some people do, just not yours. <laughs> um, says you notice there's definitely something living in the water and moving around. Mm. Similar to like the, uh, I forget what it's called now, the creature in the garbage disposal in A New Hope. Oh, yes. Daryl. Something touched my leg. <laughs> By the way, Tubert spent the last of his bits and said, uh, that's all of them. Dan, TPK them. Oh, Okay. I'll try. I'm doing what I can. Just for Tubert. Toxic swamp water with crappy land around it. Is this New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, we just had an earthquake from there. Yes. Yeah, it was New Jersey trying to separate from the <laughs> From the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, to maneuver yourselves through the water here, uh, watching out for spots that might be deeper than they look, or little patches of this drier land that might break away and you could fall in. Everybody needs to make a 4-1 body athletics test. Which I feel like this group should be pretty good at. Do it. Can Complete failure. Two successes. Oh boy. <laughs> Complete failure on my part. Four successes if I use the focus. Four. Wow. What? I also got four successes without focus. Whoa. So, so we're <laughs> so athletic that we actually catch soil <laughs> before he falls in. Right. All right. So normally, so if, if somebody falls in, uh, you can make a body reflex test to try to catch him. Normally, it's a five-two. Uh, I'm going to reduce it to uh, yeah, let's do it. five one instead. Um, so two of you that uh, should have established marching order here. We'll say uh, Doug is definitely in the back because you landed at when they got here. Mm -hmm. um, who? So do you think the other two would be around soil or, or soil would you be? Uh, uh, I kind of, I would assume that Hella would probably take point. So who do we think would be around soil to try to help catch them? Me. Okay. I'll do I don't it. know. So what is that? Body reflexes? Yes, 5-1. Are Sylvan yeah. like... We got a, we got a six, so we're good. All right. I'm a tree. I, I'm aware. <laughs> I just didn't know how much you weighed, that's all. If it was like a couple hundred pounds, or if it was more, I don't think they're excessively heavier okay. than yeah. typical, like humanoid creature. Okay, I mean a little bit more. Yeah, but uh, Darius able to grab one of uh, Soil's branches and pull you back onto the land before anything worse happens. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Phew. So you and the remaining survivors have spent some long hours wading through another stretch of the ghoul mare. Hish, the sun, has become to set on another day. The city's cannons remain unrelenting and the siege continues. You've collected some more cuts and bruises along the way, but have largely managed to evade the attention yes. of the Skaven forces. You have reached your destination. You all take up defensive positions and Captain Hines begins to signal the city. You know that once he begins, the Skaven will take notice of you and advance on your position. You must hold out at all costs. No, he doesn't need to signal them at all. They know we're here. It's just uh, ignore the whole signal thing. <laughs> that was the purpose. Dan's like this. really trying to make that happen. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> no signals needed, sir. So. But how are we getting in? They know we're coming. 
Did and you from what direction? Doug, Doug how did you? Are we, how are we coming from? <laughs> well, how are we come from there with the signal? The same way, probably with feet. So we are using a signal, Doug. Why? But you just... Why would we use the signal? It'll let the rat people know we're here. The it, fort knows we're here. Do they know uh, from which direction know. we're coming? Yes, probably. Probably? Maybe. What did you discuss gonna... with them? It was mostly I... the messenger. Uh, they said, uh, I don't know. I kind of wasn't listening. Um... <laughs> Are they going to let us in? I, I just let the messenger do it. I think so. Is there like ADD in this world? <laughs> they were they were so excited that they were soul bound and more soldiers. Of course they'll let us in. It's okay. You have to forgive him a little bit. He just suffers from affluenza. Um, I do, actually. It's, it's an acute condition because I'm so adorable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all righty so in light of tim's plan to take the steed um i'm going to speed things up a little bit for the party uh reaching this wrecked steam tank um i put up a new map on foundry there uh took this uh image of the steam tank i took from a cover of the wfrp short adventure um emperor's wrath so to ignore the people around the steam tank in that image um Oh, God. But, and then I keep we forgetting have, about Doug's icon. Yeah. What? <laughs> Captain of Hines, And then we I have, made that in Hero Forge, just like everybody else did. <laughs> right. Uh, that's supposed to represent the group of Cogsmiths, the the surviving crew with you. Should be, a, should be a big token because it counts as a swarm of them. So that should go whoop. There it is. A swarm of dwarves? And, peop and humans. And humans. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you get to this wrecked and half sunken in the mare steam tank, and Heinz immediately jumps off his rattle trap and like climbs into the steam tank through the hatch in the top, and you hear him kind of banging around in there. And after a moment, he pops his head back out, and he's like, I found a flare, uh, but everything else has been stripped clean of this thing. There's clearly no way it's going anywhere. Um, but maybe we just need to let him know where we are for a moment. And then they can give us a signal of what to do. Do you want me to just go back and ask? Yes. I feel like that would be a wiser option. We are still trying to evade attention. True. And if we have the ability, is it still within time limit for it? Oh, yeah, I can just do it again. You'll I'm, have to cast it again. I yeah. very rarely failed that. It's the first uh, time for everything. <laughs> yeah, I, it'd be safer, just take longer. Well, what would you rather have? Safe and safe or, you know, dying? Uh, yeah, I'd want to keep as many of our people alive as we can. God. With, are we at the fallen cog fort? It's a steam tank, so it's like the cog fort, just way smaller. I'm sorry. Instead steam of a crew tank. of like a couple dozen, this thing would have a crew of like five. Okay. Are we there? Yeah. It? We're there. What is is there? Is it armed? Is there ammunition for us? Is no, he said it's all, like, there's nothing inside. Like, it's clearly broken. Like, it's seen battle at some point. Hard to tell how far past it was. But there's no ammunition or anything. He just found the one flare. Before... So just like my last time, um, I failed uh, until I used focus, and then I get one success. <laughs> Jeez. Can... Well, I was, oh, so was... he did also find a cache of blunderbusses in like a locked chest that he gives to the rest of the crew. Oh, people, wow. So they have a full complement of weapons, so now they don't do half damage. Before we go with what Doug's doing, what if I were to use Lay of the Land so I can try and see. Oh, see if there's a safer passage through? Or at least see if I can determine how many people might be near us. Mm. Oh, yes. You know, before yeah. we split the group, because that. if we do end up getting ambushed mm -hmm. it would be preferable to have everybody here right so i'll go to the fort <laughs> and <laughs> i'll be safe <laughs> and you can deal with swamp monsters or whatever <laughs> tuber says if, if he gives 100 bits can the party have a known made steam tank uh other than known not existing in the mortal realms yeah absolutely it can have uh, bone and black uh heraldry on it no fuel, of course, and rigged to explode. Thanks, Tubert. 
gonna come with a new. <laughs> he said, "Oh my God, who is Pete? Guess." <laughs> <laughs> you get two guesses, and the first two don't count. <laughs> All right, so uh, taking off on the steed again to give them a more precise location. Yes, what should I actually be asking again? You want them to give a signal to your people out there uh -huh. to tell them where to go. Okay, a signal. Gotcha. Okay, let's. I'll, uh, I'll head off. No one wants to come? I'll stay. Oh, okay. Is there any uh, members of the, the retinue that are either... I don't know, old or unable to make the journey that we can get over there now so they don't hold everyone else back? Uh, nobody wants to leave the group. They're all like, you know, we're family. Oh, yes, great, cool. All They're right, bye. All and I'll, I'll take off again, this time <laughs> alone. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, give me one more of those stealth tests. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Same it's nighttime, so, I mean, he's riding a shadowy horse in the middle of nighttime. With a shadowy cloak on shadow. Yeah. It's all shadowed. Should he's he really, really make a stealth check? I think, yeah, I think really it's pretty clever. This. I think it's pretty clever. <laughs> you're just having me roll until I fail. I like. I understand what you're, you're doing. You're the one here. that keeps going back and forth. Oh, how about look? You're fine. Oh Two yeah. Success. A okay. Oh. Dan's yeah. really just waiting for that duck hunt moment. <laughs> right. <laughs> or I spook one of these guys with brand new blunderbusses that I'll just fire it off at once. Everybody Fire from shoots. the hip. <laughs> <laughs> just a scaven just down there and all that. He's like, I'm waiting for that roll. I'm just waiting for it. It just starts yeah. like raining bullets. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? What? Oof. All right, so you get back to the the tower again, or the gates again yes. above the wall. Like, the wall's like 100 feet high or something yeah, that's crazy. A tall wall. <laughs> and you meet, uh, you see Max and the corporal again. Mm -hmm. She introduces her this herself this time as Corporal Steelwater. Corporal Steelwater, it's so nice to meet you again. Uh, yes, you as well. Uh, can uh, we signal to our people by that broken down steam? Oh, my name's Doug. Oh, thank you. Yes, absolutely. Um, but can we signal to our people that they can probably come this way? Or what's the best way to get them from out there into in here? Oh, yes, yes. I've been talking with Max. I figured out where the location is that they are. Um, we are about to fire what is called a uh, coal fire starburst. Bright coal star. Oh, I hope it's strawberry. Burst. Um, I was just gonna say that sounds like some kind of like candy or like drink you can get from Starbucks. <laughs> right. uh, that the captain out there should recognize. Uh, Max said that the captain said he was familiar with the semaphore signals here, um, and he'll know what to do. Okay, great. So he should not fire off a flare, right? Oh, he doesn't need to. Oh, no, I no. didn't. I didn't think so. I just wanted to make sure. So while Doug, again, that takes 10 minutes to get there mm -hmm. and 10 minutes to get back. Mm -hmm. um, while Doug is gone. Everything's fine. Yes. Oh, that's so great. Oh, oh, that's so oh, great. Yeah, Everything is right awesome. <laughs> oh, no. Two big swarms of storm vermin have found no, you at your location. No, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. About. They didn't find us. <laughs> no. We never, hey, wait a minute. We never made our stealth checks to see if, you know, we could hide from them. That's true. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> I'll have you guys all make another body stealth test to represent people can hide behind and in the steam tank. It's only a 6-3. <laughs> That'd be so mean. We'll see how many successes total you get again. Oh, God. What is I, got a, I got a point in my head. You said a five, five. Four. Uh, We'll say five, uh, four up again. A body, right? Body stealth, stealth. yeah. Two four. successes. I got one. You four successes? Damn. Yeah, so we got, how much you get? We got seven. Okay, I was setting it to six again, so. Yeah, so they didn't find us. We All right, you. so these clan rats don't find you. <laughs> you guys are making this way too easy. To be honest. We're just so good at our job. I'm, I'm, I mean, to be honest, I'm following Tim's direction on this session listen, right now. I just... <laughs> have a plan, I think. What type of spells can you cast? Can you cast any spells? No, only you. I mean, oh, he can, we can, can soil those, yeah. What yeah. kind of spells can you cast? A lot of just magic and healing and defensive. Can you summon so what like about magical... defensive? Oh. What kind of defensive do. spells can you cast? Well, I can make us shrouded in thorns, and I can give every I can give everybody one at a time, of course, a magical shield. Okay. He's not here, remember? I know. <laughs> 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 Rude. I'm wondering. <laughs> well, because what if I'm just thinking? We're able to fly over them. So what if we're able to hover over them in their zone and then launch a defensive spell that might, like, create some type of corridor for us to go through? But, you, you know, because we can get over them. 
I'm not sure if I could makeshift one of the defensive spells into something like that. It might take some time and effort, but I could try, I suppose. Well, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Dan. See what, <laughs> see what Doug can do when he returns, if he has anything in his toolkit like that. What if we his were... Toolkit. What if we were to use the steed that Doug has and create a distraction? Hmm. Same, in, yes. same policy and plan as what you're following, mm. but if what if he, he maybe took one of the flares oh. and fired Dropped off it off to make it they're thinking somebody's over there. By the main gate. Yes. Because that's least, where they're expecting anyway. Or at least to draw attention from us as we move closer. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to tell Doug the plan when he gets back. You know he's not going to like being that kind of a center of attention. We'll tell him that there's, you know, riches in as the hero for for the attention. He'll 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 bite. He'll bite. That'd probably work. We'll tell him we'll make him a sandwich. We'll I mean, da- yes, yeah, we'll <laughs> dangle a ham and cheese sandwich in front of him. Oh well done. And a sandwich, you said. A mm. little a little bit of wine. <laughs> I mean, you you. Correct me if I'm wrong, you you do have the gift of talk. I do have persuasive speech, actually. Perhaps. I can probably persuade him. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, what? (laughs) Sandwich, you say? (laughs) So, Doug, do you plan on going back out to join the rest of the party, or are you going to wait here? Mm. (laughs) He's going out. He's coming back. (laughs) Great question. Uh Uh, I do think we'll fly back. Okay. <laughs> I have so many more things that could be helpful to them. Just give me one more stealth test. One more stealth test. I That's have hard a... to say. By the way, I somebody's check, asking, can you summon a honey badger? Together. A shadowy honey badger? I cannot summon a <laughs> shadowy honey badger. Well, technically, <laughs> there is there is a path. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go with three oh, successes. Oh, yes. All right. No problem. So you get back to the group, and you can kind of relay the information. To them. Oh, so they're gonna shoot some uh, some uh, four things, I think, uh, or semi shoot them, I believe, and it will make uh, you know like a distraction or a tunnel or smoke or something. Uh, he, the captain, they they said that you would know what it was: a semi four storm, smoke barrage. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I'm sure I'll recognize starburst. it. Starburst. Oh yes, starburst. Uh, strawberry starburst. <laughs> <laughs> Cherries become my favorite as I get older. What, oh, reason. oh, that's yucky! Like it's an, it's a it's a great second place. Captain. No lemon or orange, Captain. but orange. Orange has always been the worst. Oh, I agree. Lemon's always the worst, personally. But oh, Captain. So what is the response protocol with the starburst signal? Uh, they should. Well, they'll have to. They'll send me a signal. And he's like, oh, and there's like anybody facing the walls. You see three little bright flashes, not at the main gate, but the next gate over, which is like a couple miles, and it's like pff, 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 of these little just flashes. And he's like, hmm, okay. And then it says, you notice a new light in the sky, a bright white flare falling on a position near the city's outer walls. And he says, oh, a bright cold flare. Praise Sigmar. We need to head to that position right away. That's our way in. Splendid. All right. Um, All right. So towards that second big tower, like to the next tower to the right from the main gate, uh, he's like, we have to go now. They're not going to have it open for long, if at all. Is there anything that uh, Skaven are, like, scared of? Dying. Okay. Bigger Skaven. Bigger Skaven. I don't know. Skaven. All right, I'd like to cast Illusion to kind of... Uh, back us up here a little bit. And Are you going to just make us all invisible except yourself again? Oh, gosh, I hope not. Perfect. <laughs> well, as you start making your way there... You know, I mean, if you do, that your... would just be the ultimate heroic measure. Right. I mean, you'll be just showered well, in gold. Well, because he can and... just... He can actually do that because then he can just take the shadow steed. 
Yeah. See, see, see. So purposely failed. Yeah, you need to purposely, purposely fail. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> we would say you still have like half an hour left of your shadow. Yeah, feed. So that was ten minutes there, ten minutes back. Um, so as you start to like get out of your cover positions and get ready to go, you see cannons just starting to rain fire in the area right in front of that spot, and like the wind whips a bunch of the smoke away, and you see that it's cleared a pretty decent area for you of Skaven. It was just this concentrated burst, and other Skaven fled that spot. So now you have a bit of a path if um, you go quick. I would like to use Illusion okay. to cast Illusion, uh, but uh, to make a big uh, another steamship coming out of the woods uh, heading the opposite way that we are going to be heading. Okay. Uh, it says it can be as big as a zone, so I intend to make like a cog fort level. So you can make like a steam tank. Yes. Not a yeah. cog fort. That's multiple zones. Multiple zones. Yeah, so a steam tank. Yeah, that works. Okay. It's one minute per success level. Nice. Uh, and this should take. All right. Any... So if you make this spell, I'll let you guys have a little bonus on the next. You're gonna make another group test. Okay. Oh. So um, with focus, it'll be one additional success. So two minutes of steamboat or whatever, Willie coming out and. All right. <laughs> causing steamboat, a steamboat, steamboat Willie. Willie. And you can That's... say that without it being a. Copyright. Correct. Yeah, it's, it's open. It's free domain or whatever. All right. So, so is there a Skaven that looks a little bit like friendly that's driving it too? <laughs> there are big gloves. Yeah. <laughs> big white gloves. Yeah. Uh, oh, and it's just spread in from the Lost Omens. <laughs> mm -mm. Doing a little dance. Uh, <laughs> so you cast this, and everybody takes off in the other direction, and you yes. see that collecting some of the Skaven's attention that are nearby-ish. But as you run towards the walls clear that there's more and more Skaven around and they're going to start noticing you. Um, so to represent how quickly you can make your way across this part of the mare, you're gonna make another group test uh, body athletics. And normally it'd be a four eight, but I'm gonna reduce it down to a four six with that spell. So basically count as you have two success levels already. I got two successes. All right, so I four, have one. Five. Does it said body athletics? Yep. Uh, that'll be three successes with focus. Nope, I don't have yeah. any there. Roll what again? Four. Body athletics. Four pluses. Four successes. Jeez. So we have nine. I crushed it. it. Crushed it. They, Get they actually can't catch us. I think they that's like 11 successes catches. you had there. Yes. That's almost doubled what I was looking for. That's crazy. Um, so that one is cool. If you fail it, then another of the crewmen uh, like lags behind and gets killed by the Skaven that are swarming oh, that after you. Okay. So like it doesn't affect. <laughs> <laughs> but, like it's not us. <laughs> that's a great point. It would have been one less if we have to revert back to like one on one Shadow Steed. Like, oh God. <laughs> it's Man. one less trip. That's very fair. <laughs> so glad I made this map for the steam tank. It's more sandwiches. That we're not using. <laughs> so instead, we're going to go to another new map on Foundry here that's going to represent the sewer outflow that you have been directed towards. Mm. Um, so here, this map is one I found on Incarnate. I probably should have kept it up to give the person credit, but I forgot to. Um, uh, didn't take the time to make this map myself, but it's you know, people can share maps on Incarnate, um, just incarnate.com, a site I really like for making maps. It's it's really cool, easy. Um, there's a bunch of free options, or you can sign up. It's like 25 bucks a year. To yes, make it's very inexpensive. You want. It's yes. great. I like it a lot. I use it a lot for our campaigns and things. Um, but this one is going to kind of vaguely represent the outside. It is a little dark, unfortunately. Uh, but this we're going to split into a number of zones uh, just to make sure this is clear what we have going on here. I'm going to write on here. I can just draw freehand. How do I do this? Nope. Oh, you I have need, to have a free hand. I need to actually <laughs> click the button, draw freehand. So I'm going to like dotted line out these different zones. I wanted you guys to see it like you know, normal before I started drawing all over it. Oops. Okay, so essentially, um, we got, <laughs> you guys are in like the southwestern zone right now. Um, there's a walkway here, like a, like a log kind of thing, a, a plank that you can go across uh, this 
effluent channel below you uh, to another zone. There's another, there's a bridge up connecting two of the northern zones. Um, and then we have a walkway. I'm just gonna, I think I can just, I don't wanna draw a line. I think I should be able to erase just one. Up here is a walkway that goes up and around to like another level up top here. Mm. So we can see that a bit. Um, over here, oops, that was weird. This area that I just circled is the outflow pipe that has a big old grate over it. And Captain Hines says, that must be our way in. We got to get that grate off so we can get inside the sewers. A missive hey, arrives for Doug the Elf. Dearest Sir or Madam or Elf, I write yeah, to you from her interdimensional her space ends, Nigeria. <laughs> space You're just on the outside of the deposed. wall, unfortunately. If you send me 10,000 gold, I will deposit in your account 100 um, million Nigerian dollars. And yeah, the post Skaven post. have been relatively cleared from the area, but they are quickly catching up. All right, so let's so, stealthily make our way over this plank. So there was well, a text-to-speech that didn't play. That says, a missive arrives for Doug the Elf. Dearest sir or madam elf, I write to you from interdimensional space Nomageria. I am nope. space prince who was recently disposed or deposed. If you send me 10,000 gold, I will deposit into your account 100 million Nomergan dollars post haste. All hail the grand interdimensional Nomerganian empire. That sounds really gross and uh, I hate it. Okay. <laughs> what? It's all about gnomes and he knows I don't like gnomes. Are you scared of them? No, I just don't like them. Hmm. What's that one place that does those scams? If if, if you give me a thousand dollars, I'll give you oh, fifty it's like million. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it's Nigeria. Like Nigeria. Yeah. Nigeria. Prince. Nigerian yeah. princes. Gnome Jerian. That makes more sense. Yeah. That's how I should. All have said. right. So as you reach here, you see there are a few Skaven that have been kind of like hanging around, like maybe they hold, you know hold up enough to survive that those blasts. Uh, you see, kind of blocking your way. Uh, but you do need to make your way to that gate um, covering the outflow pipe um, to either open it up or destroy it. Hmm. So I just got to double check these guys' initiative. So everybody take a look at your combat tab on Foundry there. Love Foundry. Thank you mu so much, Cubicle 7, for your awesome Foundry uh, modules for this game. And, and what and are we looking games. for? Your initiative is under three. the combat tab. Whoa, these guys are fast. Quattro, please. Wait. Oh, yes, Quattro this, as well. Who's that big chick? This yeah, that's, a, that's a swarm of engineers. Uh, so, uh, it, Isn't that Captain Hines? <laughs> no, no, that's Captain. Oh, yeah, the, the, the big one with you is the, it's a swarm of all the oh, crew. Oh, oh, it's like the crew. Yeah, Got they've it. been okay. helping in combat a little bit by shooting. Um, they were doing half damage before because only half of them were equipped with guns. But now they got blunderbuss. But now they all are equipped, so they will do full damage. She looks, okay. like, Karen-level angry. I think it's, she's supposed to be a Dwarden, too. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the highest was four, right? Yep. Yep, me and Doug are four. All right, so we are going to go. Uh, these other guys are faster than you. Oh, I was going to say, everybody can make a, um, what's an appropriate test here? Stealth? Are we going up? Wait, uh, we to, like, recognize up? what these things oh. are. Probably uh, mind, Modern. probably just guile okay. or nature. That's so dumb, though. <laughs> yeah, because you're so good at the body stuff. Guile's exactly. fine. <laughs> Let's do guile. I'll run with mind guile? I'll yeah, I say mind guile or mind nature. All right, I'll run. I'll run with nature. What do we need to pass? <laughs> I think I failed. Uh, make it a five one. Woo! Got it. I got two fives. One five. All right, so soil and Daria recognize these as um, certain subtypes of Skaven. Uh, the smaller ones are look like normal Skaven, but they're covered in like wrappings and they have like punch daggers and some of them have cloaks. You know, these are called gutter runners, which are like they're sneaky, stealthy boys oh. that are really good at backstabbing and things. And the big guy is a rat ogre. Is that Wait. just a big rat monstrosity. Like, is that the their weapon technique is backstabbing or like they turn on the other Skaven? Uh, yeah. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Doug can take over the mind of one. I can also be pretty seductive and persuasive when I want to be. 
You want to be seductive to a rat man? If it'll help us in. Oh, fair. Not all rat men are bad. Yes, they are. Yes, they not, are. Not on this network. <laughs> to me, they in, are. In no, this game, yes. Especially Master yours. Splinter isn't bad. <laughs> there you go. All right, but a few of them, uh, before you get to act, they see you, and you see them kind of reach into their cloaks, and they go whoosh, and throw throwing stars at you. Reflex. Jerks. Uh, so the first one here is going to throw a star at who... Um, I just kind of put people out here more or less at random. We're going to throw one at Daria because we can. I'm going to duck and miss. So what is your uh, defense? Um, I don't know, but I got good reflexes. My defense is uh, d d d average. Okay. Right? It's the, the shield. shield. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you take three damage as oh. I got two... Oh, yeah. Two additional successes. Wait. No. Wait, how do I track damage again? Toughness? Yeah, you reduce your toughness by three because you don't have any armor since those storm room and broke it in, like, the Yo. first combat. <laughs> I rolled all those sweet sixes <laughs> for Rend. All right. The next one is going to throw stars at Soil. Knew it. <laughs> What's your defense, Soil? Uh... Poor, with an armor of two. And fling. I only get two total damage, so you actually take none. Woo! With your armor. And then the last one is going to throw him at Captain Hines. Tree body for the wit. <laughs> I definitely don't know Captain Hines' defense. I feel like we should have been able to... Yeah, have a... Try and dodge. Dodge roll. Put any... Yeah. Do a dodge roll! <laughs> I didn't put any of his stats in. His defense is average. Okay, there we go. You'd make a great Skaven, Tubert. My defense roll is roll into a ball and emit a high-pitched squeal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so they actually totally miss Captain Hines uh, with three failures. Whoa, Captain Hines, nice. OP. And then... Uh, He's really special 47, if you know what I mean. You see a couple of the other... Oh, the two other that. gutter runners on the other side take up positions at the like end of their like walkway there. Oh, God. <laughs> And the rat ogre just goes and stands on the bridge and goes, Rrrr! and like basically, we're, actually, he doesn't go yet. Never mind. He's initiative <laughs> two. Is this is this the same thing? You that heard it. We've <laughs> fought on the. So it looks similar. Just doesn't. It's not covered in armor and doesn't have weapon hands. Oh. Otherwise, it looks like the body looks the same. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better because that thing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that thing was terrifying. It killed my pet. <laughs> oh yeah. Got him. All right, so who's our <laughs> highest? Wow, damn! <laughs> Skitter! Tell me you hate pets without telling me. <laughs> you can get it back. We talked about how that's always my goal. Take out the animal companion. They're obnoxious. Who's All got an because of the dog. <laughs> I do, as Soil does Doyle, as well. Doyle anyway. and Sug? Okay. Doyle and Sug? I started yeah. to say it wrong, so I just rolled with it. <laughs> <laughs> sug, Sug. Sug <laughs> is... I don't makes me uncomfortable. Also. It's a great <laughs> ship name. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually really into the whole sug relationship. Ugh. <laughs> okay, Doyle. so who's going for? And the 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 crew, the Cogsmiths, are also initiative four. So we can kind of go in whatever order. Oh, let's let them go first. Yeah, well, they're gonna shoot off of yeah. yeah. They've got all these blunderbusses. They're 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 just ready. That's a group. You know? Okay, so they are going pow, pow, to just pow. shoot at the closest. They're busting runner. for a busting. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, medium. So that's into the next zone. Listen, you know, yes, you your know zone how people get when you put a shotgun in oh. their hands. They just can't help themselves. So they would have to move. <laughs> well, I, I. Yeah, they're not close enough, right? No. Yeah, I, I, well, the throwing stars are also. Oh. Oh. oh! 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 Goodness! Oh! oh so er. now we gotta go back, huh? <laughs> Looks like Daria just healed three toughness. Yeah. Oh, that's so like weird got, how that works. I got full toughness now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I forgot. I counted. I said there was gonna be a zone like between on that. What, what is? Uh, I what forgot is that thing? I drew is, lines on, on this wait, map wait a to minute. clearly what is a, what identify is a, zones and then completely ignore What's a DM them. fail? I forgot you just can't throw throwing stars an entire football field length away. What's a DM fail roll? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, what is the price of failure for that? Mm. Oh, that's so good. Uh, yeah, I goofed there. So we're going to say instead of taking all that back, they just ran up and then like hopped 
down into. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, right. So they're within range at least. <laughs> they they, they hop down and hop down in front of us. Into okay. like so they're like yeah. <laughs> below you in the sewage because they don't care and they threw oh, throwing yeah. star throwing stars up at you guys. And missed. Yeah. Well, they missed Captain Hines. <laughs> Um, so the Cogsmiths uh, just use their move to, they kind of line up along the edge there and fire down at them. Uh, so let's see, the Gutter Runner's defense is average, making sure they don't have How does that thing have it. average? It's sitting there with just wrappings on it. What are those freaking cloth, what are those wrappings made out of? They're... Metal? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just uh, real dodgy. Oh, they get to dodge. Oh, so interesting. Oh. Oh, that's an action they can make. Hmm. It's not an action they can make. That just it's an abstract way to represent their defense. Oh, but but uh, I couldn't dodge. Ah, uh, uh, average. She could have been dodgy. Yeah, that's why hers is average. Oh, they actually kill Oh no, they don't kill one. Close. They do four damage to one of the gutter runners, fill it with bullets, uh, and then it's Dan this possession. Soil or Doug's turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna start fudging rolls. You can't see what I roll on foundry. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that rat ogre got all successes. That's crazy. <laughs> so damage is successes plus team two. Team killed. Dan, if you could look at the screen real quick. Yeah. So this here, mm -hmm. this T, this Tetris piece, this is all one zone. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I would like to go down to this next zone. That's just a move action, yes. Okay, so you hop down into the muck. Mm hmm The muck and the mire. And then I'd like to cast Enslave on that rat ogre. The rat ogre? Mm-hmm. Can you do it to a rat ogre? I can do it to whoever I want. Are you sure? Probably. It's just medium away. That's the only... So I'm going to go ahead and make this roll. Okay. <laughs> I have a focus that'll give me two. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. So good Good thing you put that focus in channeling. Oh, oh it was very good. Oh, no, I do need three. But you, oh, have, you, have, you have metal. You have metal. I have metal. Price okay. of failure. Wait, so how does this work? Hold on. You, you, so you can double your... Oh, wait, oh, I don't... Could... No, oh, you I can double your, train, your uh, focus. Okay, that's not enough. <laughs> What if I, can I spend a fortune point to reroll? A fortune that's, point? No, that's not in this game. Okay. <laughs> what are my other options? Uh, click on the price of failure and see mm, what happens. To not do that one, though. <laughs> uh, the yeah. spell is cast, but has the opposite effect. I'm now <laughs> enslaved by the <laughs> rat hugger. Price of failure is the best. That? No, so the rat you just so ratted to eat yourself. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> you just ratted to eat yourself. yourself. Damaging spells heal toughnesses. Bonuses become penalties. Allies are affected instead of enemies, and so on. Oh, so I could enslave soil. Oh my um, god! I me. The GM unfortunately has the final say in I how this do. goes. I do. I love that last <laughs> sentence in this rule so mm -hmm. much because yes. it's just whatever I want. It's stupid and I hate it. <laughs> Okay, Shoot. so you must. I just, per, I just so picture this, this shadowy little rat just on top of his head now. Tuber <laughs> asks, if I leave chat for five minutes, can Tim succeed? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine, chat man. Uh, okay, so first off, there is a soul. You can make a soul determination test against the spell to block it anyway, right? So you had two successes total, so you need to make a. Uh, soul determination test with a difficulty of <laughs> four two. Four two. We've been because building you had up two to this successes all night. on the spell. We've been building up to this all night. Oh, I yeah, ace it. did it. Oh, okay. So for just a moment, you feel this presence in your mind of overwhelming hunger mm -hmm. and I, I was already there. Yeah. As like the rat ogre almost took over your mind mm -hmm. instead. Great. <laughs> That would have been How did it awesome. feel to have a rat in your brain? I, it was only for a brief second, but it feels as dirty as my boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, soil. <laughs> How are you going to top that turn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I love the Price of Failure chart so much. <laughs> it's stupid. I always get the same results. Yeah, but it's great. I disagree. To be fair, there's only like six different results. I'm going to let's go through an arcane bolt at some of those gutter rats there. Okie dokie. 
there's seven different results you can get on price of failure. Wait, yeah, so it's like a 13% plus. chance to get that one every time. Oh, it rolls Woo! another dice equal to the like missed dice you had. All right, so you got five successes, four successes in Arcane Bolt. Why oh, you roll five dice Damn. for that? The thing so you can do when they're not poisoned. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> uh, were you shooting at like a fresh gutter runner or one of the or the injured one? I'm just trying to see real, real quick. What does it do? Each additional success increases the damage by one. Nice. Okay, so I just needed one, right? Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four damage coming at it. All righty. Uh, when you have your overcast stuff too, right? I mean, I also have metal, so yeah, I can increase. I can make that five successes, actually, with a focus. Oh, with just the focus? I think I have a focus. Yeah. Right? Because I have channeling. Yeah. Yeah, I have a training and a focus. Nice, Woo! yeah. Okay. So you, sh which one do you want to shoot at? Oh, the, well, you have option of two down below in front of you. So there's a, so that's a five. Um, let's go for, on this roll, let's go for the one that hasn't been hit yet. So just whatever, I'll just get rid of one of them. Because that is a five, it's just nice. enough to take it out. I don't believe they have armor. I should double check that. No. Five so is just not mass, enough to This take massive, out. just like bolt of magic just... <laughs> should definitely done. check that before I say anything. Yeah, so it's almost done. Not quite. Ah, uh, no, you oh, said it was no, dead. No, it was done. <laughs> you no, said you were going to get rid of it. No takesy backs. <laughs> we're not playing the old world. I can take back whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, initiative three, which I believe is Daria. Yup, it is. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use this. Well, actually, wait a minute. If I'm sorry to interrupt and everything. Metal, you can go. I have a metal, that so I would like to use my metal to roll again. Let's do it. To attack again? Yes. To get another action, you spend attacking? Yes. Or no, to cast another spell. To cast another spell. So do that again. Oh, I should have done that. So I'll use Arcane Bolt again. On the same one or a different one? Uh, let's go with the same one. Okay. You see it's teetering on, it's like swaying a bit. So I'll tell you, you need to get two successes here to take it out. I think you can with focus, right? Even though I'm using metal, I can reuse focus again, right? Uh, it says one available. Yeah. I think focus is every time you roll that. Every time I roll? That particular skill. Mm. So mm. that'll just do it. And that will... Definitely boom, boom, boom. be a two success. Boom, boom. Good job remembering uh, metal because I forgot that was a thing <laughs> during the first player turn. So that, hey, me too. There we go. Consider it even. So, so, so please take that rat token that you said before you were going. It's to go gone. That, thank you. It's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Which one is the the ogre king guy? The oh, the guy? rat ogre. Uh, you got to go further north on the map. Oh, north up. here. There's a big one. Oh, oh, he's way up there. Oh, but that oh. wasn't me the way. Look at that fancy. Photo. Okay. I'm going to use my hand bow, and I'm going to aim for one of these guys. Wait, which one already has some damage done? The one on the left here I'm pinging. Okay. Let's aim towards that guy. I'm going to aim him right in the head. You got like a hand crossbow or something, right? Yeah, repeater hand bow. Nice. Uh, average defense. Uh, yep, average defense. So I got. I don't even know how many dice do I use. Why do Why do I never know this? So if you click on your handbow, it'll pop up in the combat tab. Click on the name; oh. it should bring it up, and then you can change the target defense to average. A Twelve pack. Target oh, no. defense. Okay. And then even gives you, you can, uh, cho if you want to choose to spend your metal now to double your and training or double your focus, <laughs> you can do that, which is cool. It'll take multiple days to show up. So. It's America. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. After the, after the I think it's almost always okay, worth it to use it for another attack. It it Where it is? Did I All right, get looks it? like I you got, really it says succeeded with the one additional success. Where is that? Um, so oh, the chat. icon all the way got to the it. left. Yep, yeah, I get it, got it, got it. All right, so we have close, piercing, uh, range. Uh, and split. I can use my... Oh, no, because I need four or higher. Right? 
Or do I need five or higher? Four. So I can use my uh, focus training. Focus. 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 Right? To put so that I have three. I think that's double dongin. Oh yeah. Nice. So I have three successes. Oh, nice. Okay, so uh, we now know they have one armor, and that's just enough to kill that one as Boom. well. Let's go. <laughs> Tim, do you want to roll seduction on the DM? I'm going to, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'll spend my metal to uh, go towards the other one. So to now... move? <laughs> or you still can move. Um, you don't need to spend your metal yet. Because um, your speed oh, is, I, can move. I assume, medium or normal. I forget how they word it. Where do I want to move? Your speed is normal, so that means you can um, move up. You can move to another zone as your move. Okay, yeah. Where do I move? So like, if you wanted to attack the other Skaven down, like kind of in front of you, you can use your move to go down. You, get a, you can use a free action to like Here. go to close range to it. And then you could use your metal to attack again, Okay. which is awesome. And can I, uh, one second. Can I switch gear? Or is it technically, do I have to wait till new initiative? So typically I allow people to like draw a weapon as you're moving. If mm -hmm. you were to drop your crossbow. And like it's a have my crossbow. double Chicken cutlasses. Have right? So, okay, so a couple options you could do here. It's a hand crossbow. So you uh -huh. could hold it in one hand and draw one cutlass. And draw one cutlass. Or you could drop the hand bow and draw both cutlasses. Let's drop the hand bow and draw both both cutlasses because then I can do what was this again? <laughs> what? They're calling you out, Mike. <laughs> yeah, so because then I can do since I have one in each hand, I get to add a dice to my dice pool and then and split, then split them, them for each weapon, right? Yep. So what is that? <laughs> so if you you can uh, do that on Foundry as well. If yeah. you go to that, click on your cutlass, you can even <laughs> click dual wield. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Which hopefully will give you the bonus dice. Cutlass. Okay. <laughs> Filler. Well, it says no, it doesn't have the, oh, dual wielding. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. And they just have to change their out. defense in both. Spots. Oh wait, I didn't change the defense. You still got two successes, so we'll keep, we can okay, do that first we'll one. We can keep that. Oh, it did both of them right away. Yep. Nice. Okay, so you did four damage with the first slash, and three damage with the second slash. Even though I reduce each one by one with the armor, mm -hmm. that is just enough. Daria takes out two in her turn. Well Woo! done. We're all being so useful. <laughs> <laughs> Equally. Yes. All right, next Out up, head. the rat ogre. Better, I was strong enough to resist some magical spell that ogre cast. <laughs> it walks that giant to the bridge. A magical sort, huh? <laughs> and it sees this guy hanging out down at the bottom there. Hello. And you see it, like, pull up this thing you didn't notice before as it's holding a warp fire cannon, not cannon, but warp fire thrower, and... Go, pulls on this thing, and this green fire shoots out at you. Oh. Because it does have range long. Uh-oh. What is your defense, sir? Superb. <laughs> is it? Would I'm, you like me to show you on my I'm character? pretty sure it actually is. I really don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I even remember to turn off all of my effects, whereas the Mystic Shield, it'd be like excellent or extraordinary or something like that. No, you're fine. Yeah, superb is almost as high as it goes. Um, so Extraordinary, it's as high as it goes. Yes, it's superb is almost as high as it goes. That's fair. So why is it so high again? Oh, well, I'm in shadow. I have a shadow cloak. I also, uh, you know, I'm pretty defensive as a whole. You just have a lot of points in those skills. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if the rat ogre can do anything uh, against superb. Does it have any metal? No. Sometimes these things do. It does. So I'm going to spend it to double its training. Mm. Oh, no. And get more dices. You're warp fired. I got two additional <laughs> successes. Okay. So three damage total. Yuck. And what do I have? All right. So if you... Wow. 
Yeah, I think you you have got maybe one armor. And one armor. So, so I'll take two. two. Okay. Oh, uh, wrong way. <laughs> so like... creature damaged by the warp fire gun must succeed on a six one body fortitude test. Oh right, that stuff poisons. Become poisoned. Okay, oh. watch this. Which uh, kind of represents you kind of being on fire, sort of. You said a, a five one. Six one. A six one. Uh, five one, right? <laughs> Try. Oh yuck! Ooh, oh, three no. one one. So you are poisoned. You're minus one die to all tests. <laughs> Stupid. Yay! Hell, it's your turn. <laughs> go rat ogre. Finally. <laughs> all right. Well, I was gonna gonna go for that rat ogre, but now that I know he's got that kind of crap going on, is that's actually what it this? fires. See, they say warp fired, but it's actually poop. <laughs> Gross. Raw sewage. Can, can <laughs> we walk over this below. Doug. That looks like that a bridge, a yeah. No. You mean you're gonna walk over Doug because he's probably laying down hurt right now? <laughs> just, been knocked you just yet. step over him. Oh, poor Doug. He's gotta <laughs> stop, drop, and roll, but he's in the sewer. Oh, the choices. Yeah. The choices. <laughs> oh, the tuber says, oh, great, Doug's on fire. Basically, it's Bruno all over again. <laughs> wow. Let's go kick somebody. Yeah, I would say that that looks green on the map there. That looks like a bridge to me. You could. Move over your normal speed, so you uh, your oh. move can take you to an adjacent zone. Uh, you can use an action to move again if you wanted to, like run. <laughs> Rat ogre, because I kind of want to go attack it, but I don't want to get hit with fire, and I can't attack it yet. I'm gonna go toward it, seeking my doom. I'm gonna move over here. Okay. So that would take your move and goal. action. But you have metal. She could do something else with metal, right? Yeah, I don't think she has any ranged attacks, though. I, I don't have any ranged attacks, exactly, yeah. Oh. She just hits yeah, things with that hammer. Well, you can, like, fight defensively or something, right, as an action? Something along those lines? Yeah, because you get metal back every round, so, like, there's no reason not to use it. Well, well that's not true. Metal cause... gives you, you can take an extra action, you can use it. increase you can... your talent... Or you can in you can double your talent training, double your focus. Yeah, defend is one or dodge. Until the start of your next turn, your defense die is increased by one step and you add one D six to your dice pool for body reflex tests. Mm -hmm. Or I keep react. forgetting about those extra things, honestly. Right? Yeah. Like you could do react, right? Prepare yourself to act when a specific event happens. So like if you get targeted by the king or the ogre, you can I'm you surprised you haven't an used action. flee yet. I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then our doom increases. Uh, once you catch fire with that a bit, Doug, you see the rat ogre. He's like, <laughs> it starts like frothing at the mouth a bit. No, and it, like, he locks he, eyes he's already, wait, wait, he's wait, already wait. used his metal. He Hello, doesn't have run, any more. Hello, you got to run up. Excited. Hello, you got to run up to the rat ogre because apparently you can grapple. I want to see you freaking just like arm wrestle this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can grapple what? You could grapple. I mean, grappling's always fun, except for the rules for it. it's always impossible. Get up there and wrestle that thing. This actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I gotta bash it with my hammer. That's what I do. <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for uh, like an honorable doom here, that rattleger is clearly the target in this. <laughs> It's so much bigger than the rest. I'm probably gonna jump off this bridge and go for Doug because it's mm. bad. <laughs> but we'll see. All right, so back to the top then. Yes. Yeah. So my gutter runners are speedy fast with initiative five. So one's gonna use its move to go down here, free uh, action to move over, close the distance with Daria, and then attack you. All right, uh, let's see. It also has dual wielders, so it's got a couple of those punch daggers, and it tries to punch dagger you. Punch dagger and blade is how it's described. And it fails. And your defense is average, right? Yeah. And we stab you four times! Jesus. <laughs> Wait a minute, she's dodgy. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you have like... to, to split up your pool between the two. I don't have to. I was just making one attack instead of with the two weapons. But, but... <laughs> Don't. You don't have to. You can. Actually, I probably should have because I would uh, think I would have gotten an extra die, and I know she doesn't have any armor, but I already did it this way. So that's four damage? Yeah. And I'm like zero toughness. You're at zero? Yeah. With, right. the, with that four damage, I am. Okay, so you're going to start taking wounds next. 
uh, if you take more damage. And let's see, the other Skaven, uh, they're Skaven. They're going to go after what seems to be the easier target. So that one does the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to try to stab you. And it doesn't. Let's see, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, let's do a wield here. Let's not. <laughs> let's not. I never said that. That was out of character. The table has voted to say no. <laughs> let's see how many successes we can get. Two and one. Wait, why did it throw a throwing star? That wasn't supposed to happen. No, oh, it took it. No, it took wait, it. Sorry. Can't, can't. <laughs> nope, you messed up. That means that we just got to wash. Yeah, we just win, I think. They leave. <laughs> They're very embarrassed about throwing a throwing star in melee, and they say, oh, we should leave. Okay, that's really good. I actually catch it and throw back at him. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, sure. It, it defaulted to that in Foundry, so we'll go with it. So the first one does two damage. No. <laughs> This is supposed to be a difficult, but you're trying to get in the city while it's in so there. So, like, Tech. that's two wounds, then? So, let's take a look at what's happening here. So, this is where it gets a little, uh, we don't have as much experience with this yet when you're wounded. So, let's see. Feeling, uh, where to go? Wound. Two damage, that's a serious wound. Is it a minor wound? Yes. If serious your toughness wound? is zero and you suffer two to four damage from a single source, you take a serious wound. Serious wound fills two spaces on your okay. wound track. I put it in there. And then, so you're still tough to zero. Then you took another hit that was one damage. So you take a minor wound, so it fills one more space on your wound track. Um, I'm dead. Uh-oh. Which puts you to, you've got one wound left. So Daria's in rough shape. Uh, good thing it's Save Doug's me. turn. <laughs> oh, oh and thing. Soil. It is Doug's turn. <laughs> soil, you're up. <laughs> Oh, you're just you're defaulting to me. I just figured before I go ahead and ruin everything, you might as well. Super just says, "Well, she died." <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, what about those uh, the dwarf engine seers? Why don't we let them go first and shoot all those things by Daria? Wonder bust them. Yeah, they'll gladly shoot first. They don't care. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so they don't have metal, but they are going to shoot at average defense. And fail four times. <laughs> three, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So nothing there. Okay. Uh, Yikes. I am I believe I'm still within range, so I will then take this time to uh, use realm blood on uh, Darius. Mm. Darius, Daria? Daria. What do you do? I'm using realm blood and I'm trying to heal some toughness. Oh, nice, good. So, because they'll she'll take toughness first and then yeah. back to wounds. Yeah. Uh, do it well. Let's do it. I'm trying to think here. Do I want to like really make sure I succeed on this? Yeah, because if you fail, it'll do damage to her. Uh. Yeah. Oh, well, if you roll the opposite one, I guess there's a chance mm. you don't roll that. And then she's still not dead yet. You'll have to start making I'm death saves. Going to... Death saves? <laughs> I'm gonna... That's terrifying. Yeah, it's I'm not gonna, fun. I'm going to use a metal to double my focus. It's called death test. Right. Double focus. All right. So if you have to chain right, two dice or what is up my... one die twice. Yeah. Right? I think your focus there is only one. Uh-oh. What's going on? Yeah. Boundary suddenly is not moving for me. What's going on here? Uh, so you don't... So you got five dice for this. You can just... If you want to just roll five actual physical dice. It's a five one. So you should be good. Plus one, so it heals one uh, per success. Let's do it. So I have mind four, but I have training, so I have five dice. Yep. See how many fives you get. Oh. Um, I'm just going to re-roll this real quick. Alrighty, so it's like two focus. total. So I need five, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can at least turn that one into a five. So that's at least two. two so you get two toughness All right. I'll take that it. That basically gives you another hit before you're mortally I'll wounded. Take it. Mm. So I'm gonna use uh, Shadow Leap. You sound so bored. Well, one of your party members is near death. I'm going to help. <laughs> 
Uh, I'd like to shadow leap behind him. I'll make a stealth test to see if he's aware that I exist. What's that? How does that one work? Does it give you a target number right away? Mm, I don't know, probably. Or is it a, it's a pose versus my awareness, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Make sure you mark it that you've got two toughness, by the way. How'd you do? Uh, that'll be two success levels with focus. Ah, I only had one. Nice. So I'm unaware of you because you have like the sneaky infiltrator or something. Oh, I sure similar. do. Now I'm going to backstab it because it's unaware of me. Yes. Stack bab. If you attack with a weapon with subtle and the target is unaware of you, the attack deals double damage and ignores armor. Dumb. I am still poisoned, though. Love it. The double damage is brutal. Yeah, you are poisoned. Did you give that to your token? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Thank you all. Yes. Nice. Splendid. So that'll be four success levels with, uh... Oh, I guess I didn't know his things. Huh? His you didn't uh, change defense the... or whatever. Average. I... Oh, it's average? So yeah. it's even better. So I got more there. But if you re-roll it... Oh, yeah. Because yes. you're, you're, what's your melee? So that would make uh, my melee. Is it at least good? Mm-hmm. It's good. Okay, so you would need threes. So okay, you have great. four successes. Four successes. Is your damage plus it's just strength. successes? Mm -hmm. So okay. So it does eight. So it does and eight damage. damage. Yeah, you. How do you skewer this one to death? Oh, I stab it right through its Ooh. neck and up through its mouth. Nice. Ooh. Yep, so the Darius fight for a life, and then all of a sudden the one scaven, you just see a blade protrude from its Ooh. mouth, and then you look and Doug's there, Do you? and you make eye contact. I'm sorry, I, rats on the brain. Uh, and then I'd like to use my metal to do it again. Somebody Canadian apologizing for <laughs> saving her? Well, it's embarrassing. I'm sorry. Uh, and then I'll do it a second time. You gonna try to backstab? Y'all. Mm -hmm. right. Um... You got one. It should be three there, right? He was also good. Oh, yeah. No, I got all four successes. On what? On his awareness test. Oh. So he's aware of me. So yeah. I still stab him. Right. You just don't do double damage, ignore armor. Okay. So but that'll you only be... needed threes, right? That's an opposed test, so oh. it's just, they're both I mean, up. for the stab that I just rolled. Oh, you rolled that, too. You yes. need threes, yes. Okay. So then... So that'll be three successes. No, four, because you have a focus. Oh, yeah, so I can turn them all to threes. Oof. So four okay. successes. Mm -hmm. four, so four damage? Yes. Nice. Not dead yet, but very hurt. Hashtag should have been. And it's Darius' turn. I think I'm pretty sure Doug is out of what he can do here. Yeah, for now. Uh, all right, let's try to stab the thing right in front of us. Two versus hashtag should have been Doug. <laughs> Oh, everybody loves Tim. It's, yeah. <laughs> so good. All right. Who knows that when you just constantly make obnoxious characters, people don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird how it works like that. This is very strange. What's their defense at? Average. Average. Um, let's... I just do one big attack and then a medal for another. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to double my training or double my focus. That's the statement with the great mint. I always do that wrong. Let's do focus. Alrighty. Do I only, do I need fours or threes? Uh, probably threes. You're okay. So then I'm gonna apply my focus. So then or I'll even, have. Might even be twos. What's your? Oh, is it two? Because their defense is average. Is your melee great? Um, or is that when you're fighting something bigger? I know you get some. No, kind my of melee is there. great. My melee is great. Okay, so yeah, what you do need two, so, so you can bump. Yeah, I don't. Two focus do. in that. Yeah, so I don't want to. I want to apply it to the other one, so I get all successes. I don't know how Dude. to do that though. Wow. Okay, so you got five successes. Yeah. Uh, this one was already <laughs> hurt. So yeah, yeah, this one's dead. Dead. How dead. do you? How do you take this one out? Um, I think I just like, you know, slice it right across the throat. You just, just finger like, across throat yeah. means death. Yep. But it's a cutlass. It's a cutlass, so. <laughs> Slashed it. It's nice. Little, it's a little on the personal side. Okay. You know? And. Just took care of those uh, gut yeah. runners way faster than I thought you were gonna. Nice. Uh, did you want to do anything else? Did you want to spend any... I spent my metal to double my focus. 
Oh, you already did me your yep. medal. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So the rat ogre is all hopped up on Mountain Dew and it finishes moving across <laughs> the bridge, <laughs> moves over to Hella and goes Rawr! as it tries to slash at you with its claws. What is your defense? Hella. Uh, I don't know. What is my defense? <laughs> so combat tip. Combat tab, look at the, the shield there under abilities. Fridge. Average, okay. I thought you just said fridge for a second. <laughs> it's good enough. Average, <laughs> It kind of cut out. She's so a like, fridge. <laughs> uh, so fridge. what is this thing? I want to see. Feel like a fridge. <laughs> Weapon skill. Oh, it has two training? So yeah, we're doubling the training with its focus. Get four dice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We can't see it. I know! They're all successes. Oh, no. shit. 11 damage. What? <laughs> I didn't know I could do that much in this game. Are you alive? Uh, <laughs> with, yeah, I'm alive. With doubling... I, so wow. Doubling my training gave me four additional dice. And so he rolled 10 dice, and they were all successes because its attack is, like, superb. Yuck. Ay, ay, wow. Ay. No, it's great. So that was still, I needed twos to hit you. So you take 11 damage. So what's hella at? So I had seven uh, toughness. So that's gone. And then what is. Do you have any armor? That's. Four. No, I don't have armor. Right. So you take. Die, remember? Oh, so you take four more. So she takes a serious wound again. Ooh. Yeah, okay. two to four. It's one, but that fills up two spaces on your wound track. Ah, uh, she's a Dordan, though. She's fine. Yeah, but I'm fine. She's got, like, five wounds. <laughs> I just took a massive hit, and I'm fine. <laughs> she shrugs it off like, ow. I'm also hard to kill, and, like, I, you know, taking this Doom Oath to die just made it really hard to kill. Oh, so, Doom Oath. So this just made you, like, more hyped up. You're like, yeah! <laughs> Can you read I'm Rink Rink? Like, yeah. an adrenaline <laughs> rush. Uh, Rink Man, Rank, so Cat, Cat, Cat Dan is just giving like, you the best yeah. gift ever, Jess. The chance to make a new character. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the good news, though. It's Hella's turn. So you can just like, yes. you know, lick the blood off and hit them back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's there, what I'm is, doing. Yeah, I was just gonna say, is there anything like you've got there that like ups your attack as you're like just like yeah, she give me more. And is like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I um, forgot to okay, include. My, my Shakes it off. Increase, my melee does increase one step because I am an underdog currently. I, Ooh. Two or oh no, two or more enemies. Wait, Damn it. one second. Uh, He's big enough. There's for one thing that. I forgot. No. Uh, the ogre's rabid fury. Nope, never mind. It doesn't work here. Yeah. Okay. So the, it says the rat ogre flies into a frenzied rage when it smells blood. If the rat ogre is in the same zone as any creature who has suffered a wound, the rat ogre's melee increases one step. You weren't wounded yet, right? Yeah. No. Oh, wait, did it say wound? Not. Did I just read that and say wound and forget what it meant immediately? Yes. The suffered a wound. Okay, so it's now it becomes frenzied. I thought it did before when Doug got hit, and then I realized it wasn't even the same zone. It was just had a range. But now it's frenzied, so it would get an initial melee die, which means I could roll 11 dice that need twos. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so what are you doing, Hella? You going to hit it back? I thought I had my talent activated, but I don't because I only have one enemy near me. Um... There's well, not enough no, Dan, guys near me. Dan's here, too. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of this. You do get uh, your Doom Oath. Yeah, damage is doubled. Do I? That's what I was... Yeah. Because your toughness is at zero, so... Okay, yep, so my... Okay, damage is double. That's crazy okay, good. Okay, sweet. So I'm just swinging my hammer again, because that's what I do. I'm good. I'm coming for it. Um, What do I... I haven't attacked anything so long. What am I rolling to right? attack? What about your, you got runes, too. Rolling on the river. Don't forget you have your two Urgold okay. runes. I think it takes an action to, or a metal to activate them. I gotta double check uh, activating the runes. I thought that's what this Duma was, was though. It was... That's its own thing. The Duma activates the runes, it says. Or draws upon the power of my runes. Uh, let me look at equipment quick for that. Fire Slayer runes. Dan dropping the beats. 
Yeah, I don't know what my... Okay, Urgold wounds are awakened in battle and activate when determining initiative. You not you do not gain the benefit from your Urgold wounds if you are surprised. I don't know what my oh, wounds do. Oh, so it just... They, they, they don't, doesn't even take an action. They just activate. Yeah. So you just always count... Oh my god, this character is so much better than we thought. So you have the Rune of Iron Skin, so you count as having one armor. So give yourself... Well, that doesn't change anything in this case. You would have reduced that by one damage, but it still would have been enough to take away all your toughness and do a serious plus wound. One. And you had the... What was the other one? Uh, plus one damage rune. I think you took it from another book. The Rune of Searing Heat. All of your attacks deal plus one damage. Where do I see that on here? Because I can oh, find they're not things, equipped. but I click on them, it doesn't give me the... Inf there we go. Did you so I, I just clicked equip, which I didn't realize you had to do before. So that should factor in now. So now it okay. says you have one armor. Your great hammer is two plus success damage. All right. Well... But yeah, I didn't think my runes worked or did anything until I was... Half dead. Well, you're half dead now. Oh yeah, so. <laughs> a lot more than half. More than. <laughs> like, yeah. It just says Urgold runes are awakened in battle and activate when determining initiative. Oh, so yes, it's every time we're in battle. Nice. That makes sense. Get in there, you junkie. If only our GM had known that at the beginning of the campaign. <laughs> Right, so it says uh, Fireside characters begin with a number of herbal runes damn bad determined by their <laughs> archetype. I wasn't listening because I was reading. <laughs> even chat was like, I can't believe how even this show is. Two dudes, two duets, and Satan himself. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the bad GM. Uh, so it says each herbal oh, rune remains active for one adventure, usually three to five game sessions. So like in the Black and Earth campaign, it tells me what, like, what counts as an adventure. Mm. Um... So I said that we were almost done with the first chapter. That's an adventure. So, you know, at least we're learning what they do now. That's right, right at the end of the chapter. Right? Yeah. After that, the rune becomes inert, and you lose any bonuses gained from it. You can take the Gruntog Endeavor to have more Urgold runes hammered into your skin. What were all those words? Yeah. <laughs> she can get more tattoos. <laughs> she can get more tattoos and become stronger for it. Tattoos of, like, molten magical gold. Yeah. Yeah, That's crazy. It's, a, cool. it's like a piercing and a tattoo all in one. Um, so, yeah, so Hella sh should have been even better in combat than <laughs> she's been this whole time. Uh, but, yeah, so go. you want to hit him with a gray hammer? Yeah, as long as you understand what's happening. <laughs> it's factored in now, so it... Uh, Hella, go smack. Defense <laughs> is good. Demon Lord GM Dan. Dice, so not using foundry, so... You can. Okay. So what am I what am I rolling? For uh, using my hammer. Five dice. And your melee is good, so you need fours to hit. Okay. What's Call me thing? a demon lord. I want to see if I can find a demon prince model I'm a quick. Demon lord. I have four successes. Yes. So that's six damage because you now do uh, success plus two. Because damage. we're finally giving you credit that you should have been given. <laughs> All right, so you give a you you strike this with a mighty blow, and it has taken some damage. It has taken it an amount of damage. It has taken some damage, but it ain't dead yet. It's a big boy. Uh, it's back to the top. So, oh no, you still have metal, don't you? Did didn't yeah. you say you were gonna attack twice? Yeah, sure. So another five dice hitting on fours. Uh, two successes. All right, so four damage. And then uh, he does have some armor. It counts. Uh, it's, like, super tough skin. It has some patches of, like, leather stuff. And back to the top. Initiative four is the top now, since the gutter runners are dead. So this is the, uh, the Cogsmiths. Uh, I kind of just count Captain Hines with them. And then Doug and or Soil. Oh, what has Captain Hinesmith done so far in this fight? I just said he counted him with the... He oh, counts okay. as a cogsmith. He's gotcha. Just, I mean, they've, they've done some damage. That's they have. true. I'll let them go <laughs> ahead. Hey, what's this whole advantage thing? If we gang up on something, do we get advantage against it? Uh, maybe. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, advantage is when... Uh, typically, it's used in opposed tests. Like, instead of needing four ups, you would need a three up. I don't know how it works in combat. 
Not off the top of my head. I forget. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything on my GM screen. By all means, let the cogs. Oh, there it is. Smiths shoot it first. Yeah, advantages for opposed tests. Okay. Uh, okay, so the cogsmiths are going to walk across that uh, little, uh, what do you call it? Plank. That plank to get into that zone. Uh, Captain Hines orders them forward and says, Help the Dwarden! And they move up and they try to shoot this thing. Uh, it does have that kind of nasty good defense. So let's see how they do. Oh, they got two successes, so four damage. Okay. Respectable. Okay. Not terrible, so a little more damage here. Even plink damage counts. Mm -hmm. Soil Doug, who's going next? Up to you. I can go. I'm going to cast Realm Blood again. Uh, who was that? I think it's someone leaving constantly and rejoining Discord. Two Brits says, I declare advantage, like Michael Scott. <laughs> It's actually you. Why am I? What's happening with my thing? Mike. I don't know. What Knock it off. Fine then. <laughs> I don't actually need to be in this thing, do I? No. no? Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Who's Who going? Me? I'm just doing it. <laughs> there we go. All right. I will cast Round Blood on Hella. Nice. And Thanks. She needs it too. What's the range on that? Oh, yeah, it that's doesn't a good matter. question. <laughs> oh, the range is long, so up to two zones away, so you don't have to move I'm to fine. cast it's it fine. on her. It's fine, it's fine, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, so let's go again. Let's uh, let's double my training again. Big bucks. That's three, but I'll make it four successes while adding a... Whoop, nope, don't do that. Oh. Oh. With applying a focus, that's four successes. All right, so four toughness back for Hella. Sweet. Nice. Thanks, Soil. You're welcome. You're not supposed to die yet. Okay, I will uh, shadow step behind the ogre. I hate that ability. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, we'll make a stealth test. Oh, yeah, versus my awareness. Two successes. They're not nearly as aware as the gutter runners. I got one success. Nice. But doesn't notice you. It's too busy. And you had a focus, so actually you had Hella. three successes. Yeah, so even if I wanted to go even further. Um, <sighs> so we'll stab it. We'll do double damage. We'll ignore its armor. It's um, a good. Good defense, yes. Body, weapon skill, attacker rating. What's my attacker rating? Good. That should pop up already. Target defense. Okay, great. Yuck. Ha! Two, one damage. Two success levels with focus. Two damage. Well, it would be four, ignoring armor. Oh, they double, double it. Double it. That's dumb. Mm hmm. What's even dumber is I'm going to spend a medal to do it again. Yes. And uh, one success level there. Broken character. So All right, double. Only two damage. Yeah. Yeah, so a total of six. Get wrecked, nerd. Ignoring armor. What? Total of six between the two attacks. Ignore oh, them. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant for that second one. I was like, how did one success turn into four damage? Don't worry about it. That's not how this game works. Not that you know. All right. Are uh, you sure about that? You've made a lot of mistakes. That's true. <laughs> I, I will not claim to be a total expert on this game. <laughs> Trying. I do try. I don't make the mistakes on purpose, right? That's why they're mistakes. Okay. Uh, Daria. I am going to move over to this side. And then I'm going to use my action to run this way over to the gate. So you kind of climb up there? Yep. Okay, so I see. So, well, okay. So you free action to, to move over uh -huh. to the other side yep. and then your move my act, yeah. there, into top. that zone and then you could spend another metal. metal to move to the yeah. to gate itself. let's do that. So you see this is like a raw iron gate um, and you could let, you grab it and it feels pretty firmly in place. But you can start trying to remove it um, on your next turn because it'll take your whole turn to get there. Yeah. Uh, I want everybody make a 5-1 uh, 
mind awareness test. Uh, Hella and Doug, it'll be a, a six. Right up in this rat ogre's grill. Five one mind awareness, you said? Yep. Well, yours is six. I thought you just failed said five. So bad. Except for you and Hella. I failed. Two successes. Well. I also failed. All right, so only. Two what's successes. his face? Soil. Soil, thank you. <laughs> Notices these uh, swarms of clan rats that have caught up with you. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> and enter from the east. Whoa, they just got yeah, so big. Yeah, why did they just get big? growing? Because they're swarm. Because they're swarm. Yeah, the, the, swarm. the token assumes it's like a single. I'm making it large wow. size just to represent that it's a swarm. Uh, they're swarms of five clan rats each. I just realized I'm the only one who's all the way inside. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's true. They are down in like, the sewer area here. Can you do the like and rain, come, thorn rain thing on them? But I'm gonna have that be their whole turn of them swarming into here. Oh, I can't do that. Why not? Hmm. <laughs> Why does it say if zero wounds? That doesn't make sense. Oh, because you're dead. Probably. I don't know what's going on. What's that? Rat ogre just there. suddenly spontaneously dies from a heart attack? Sounds like a good plan to All me. All right, uh, the rat ogre goes before Hella. <laughs> And it goes after you. It does gain an additional die now that there's somebody with wounds in its zone. Heart attack, heart attack. Uh, yeah, it's going to go with its bladed fist one more time. Bonus dice. Juan, uh, it's not the smartest. I know doubling, uh, using its metal to make another attack would almost certainly be better. It just goes for one big attack every time and doubles its training instead. Jess, are you ready? Oh, my God. It's like, like, gonna Wolverine me. You just said bladed fist, didn't you? Rawr. Goodness. Failed. Oh, he, she just got bubbed. Okay, no focus. So only six successes. Oh my god. Seven damage. Oh, that's only. Oh. Dead. <laughs> well, I gave four, so that means three. So okay. that. I mean, she has. No, no, no. So wait. She also yeah. has an armor, right? Because of the runes. Right. Yes. So you only yeah. take six. So I think that's only another so, so three six wounds. Armor, so that's a that's serious five. wound, right? Mm. No, wait, wait. So Are wounds she out? has an armor, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. she one. So six successes that takes it down to five. Right? No, well, he had se seven. Seven damage. Oh, seven, seven damage. damage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's six successes, but it's plus oh, one damage. damage. All right, so six, and then four. And then my toughness. So that's two. Four toughness. Two. So I have two. Going which, toward wound. which is a serious yeah so it's a serious wound so yeah. two more spaces on your wound track which i believe means you have one left one left or are they all filled no they're all filled then Ooh. would that uh, that just fills them right, right? not more oh right yeah. we had this Correct. discussion okay. last time right so, next hit, so if don't... you get hit again then you'll be you're mortally wounded is what we decided before yeah. made the most sense woof okay Hubert asked, can we get an oo-woo, Doug? Oo-woo? <laughs> that was a very Doug oo-woo for sure. <sighs> All right, Hella. This might be your last turn. Oh, it's my turn? Sweet. <laughs> um, I have... I have so much Aqua Guy Rannis. What can it do for me? You can drink it to heal. I'm surprised somebody but hasn't I can't tried, you know, cure wounds with it, though, can I? Ever I, heard of I believe it only heals <laughs> toughness. Let me uh, scroll down a little bit here. We need to get a super soaker just filled healing. with Aqua Gyrana so we can heal from right. afar. <laughs> it's not there. We gotta look. Should it like the carnival game where you fill the clown's mouth to pop Wait, a balloon? Man. Yeah. <laughs> just okay. permanently you have to spend it. an action pumping it. <laughs> Or is it? I'm completely out of Discord now, so I don't even know who No, it. people are messaging me on Discord. You're being very rude. All right, here we go. So, oh, so if you consume Aqua Gyranus to heal your body, each <laughs> drop of Aqua Gyranus restores one toughness. If you drink a file at once, that restores 10 toughness and removes one condition. A whole sphere, which is 100 drops, uh, restores all toughness, removes all condition, and allows you to clear one space on the wound track. Do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Because you're, like, loaded with this stuff, right? I am. 
So I believe it would be, I think it'd just be an action uh, to take out, because it's like a... Uh, Use an object? Yeah. So maybe I don't want to do this? So that I would say be your action to take it out and drink it. Heal all your toughness one, and clear one wound. And then use and then your metal use to do metal something to again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm drinking a hundred. Drinking a hundred dollars. Yep. And you see that this, like this, rat ogre's in bad shape. Like its its eyes are going crossed and it's you know <laughs> wavering on its feet a bit. It's bleeding from a bunch of wounds now. So I mean, I it have... did just get smacked twice with a hammer and stabbed a couple of times. Yeah. I have full toughness and now one less wound, correct? Right. Okay. Okay. That's updated. Cool. Then I'm going to hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Whale him. Oh, what do I have to roll again? Fives? Fours? Uh, fours, because your melee is good and so is its defense. <gasps> Four successes. Nice. And where Die. do you, where and do you also, hit this thing? She also gets extra damage, right? From one of the rooms? She yes, success damage. plus two. So six damage. Four success. Just smashing yep. it in the face. Just swinging right in its face. So you smash this thing in the face, and it's like, Roar! and it falls backwards, tumbles down into the sewage uh, there. I just turn the token sideways to represent it's on its back, and it falls down, splashes, and... Doesn't seem like it's it moving drowns. anymore. Looks pretty dead. Sweet. And then you notice these other groups, ten more Skaven, rushing up the sewer way towards you. And it is back to the top. Mm -hmm. Question mark. Hella's got everything she can do. Uh -huh. That was my medal. It was a great turn to heal up a whole bunch and kill the rat ogre. Um, oh, yeah. So I, I assume you guys want the Cogsmith to go first again? Yes. Let's see. The clan rat's defense is poor. I don't think they're going to last long. So let's shoot them. We're supposed to get to the gate, aren't we? Whoa. Okay. They just remove a swarm by rolling yes. four successes. Splendid. Max Ooh, damage. Yeah. Max pain. Yeah, you need to open up that gate and get inside. Yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, and then it's soil ore. Uh, Doug up next. By all means. Well, how many swarms are there? There's, There's one left. left. Swarm left. There's one left. And the swarm counts as just one enemy? Yes. Ah. Well then. Let's just start a blasting, shall we? Start blasting with the arcane bolt. Arcane bolt. Arcane bolt. Arcane bolt. Fail this test and see what happens. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's just keep doubling that training and make it so I have six dice to roll. Uh, Pretty nice. Almost guarantees you not failing. And I have. A and focus you can focus up here. one of those. So. Mm. Mm. That's very good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> So, so that's five successes, so that's five damage just flying. Five damage. Uh, so, you'll be happy to know. Oh, I was changing the wounds. That's why it was all messed up. Uh, I was counting them as swarms of five. So that means they have five wounds. Mm -hmm. Sorry, five toughness. Mm -hmm. They don't have any armor. So Ooh. they're dead. So five, tough, five damage just did, takes out that other swarm. Let's oh, go. And there are currently no enemies on the map. Let's not wait for any more, and I'll shadow step over my there turn? and help Daria. Yeah. Okay. What needs to be done here? Two yeah. says, Anyways, I just started arcing blasting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, do we notice, like, is there, like, a lock or, like, what's holding this gate down? It seems like this isn't meant to be a gate to open. Otherwise, that would be... A pretty bad, uh, you know, weakness in the defenses of the city. So we're going to have to, like, blow it open? Uh, but you figure you can either, like, wrench it open or attack it to do damage to it to break it. Okay. 
Doug, how does your shadow thing work? Can you transport us into shadows? Uh, no. I can transport myself on the other side. Okay. I was wondering if you could transport us. Not that I'm aware of. That would of. be cool. Uh, I can, however, can I go to the other side? Is there, what, so, can we take a look at this mechanism? It, would it be easier to bust through from the other side? Uh, you don't think, like, maybe if you could go, if you're on the other side, you could help, like, get more hands on it to, like, wrench it free. Yes. Essentially. Uh, so, I will, t so, you can attack it to do damage. You okay. figure it's going to take quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Since it's just wrought iron, but um, the like where the pipe not pipes where the what's the word? Hold on, what am I trying to say here? Where the grating oh, is into like the stone looks kind of weak, hmm. and you feel like if you like rattle it back and forth enough, it could break that open a bit more and be able to get the thing out. Okay, I would like to actively rattle. <laughs> what do you need for this? All right, make me a body might. Test. I was going to say, is there a rattle talent in there? <laughs> and you need uh, six threes. But I can only roll... Oh, but it's like a culmination roll? <laughs> it is an extended test, yes. Okay, great. Uh, we'll start with one. Okay. All right. So then so I can go, right? Rattle it for one success. <laughs> can I use my metal to rattle again? Yep. Um, We're not really in combat. Again, I just I just pictured Doug with that. So it's a... Uh, <laughs> metal's kind of like advantage in WFRP. You'd only have it during combat. Are we out of combat? Yeah, I said there's no. I know what you said. You said there's I no. I know you didn't say you're map. out of combat. <laughs> you're currently out of combat. I'd like, okay. I'd like to point out that Dan did not delete this rat ogre. Oh yeah, I did just kind of leave it there for fun. It, mm. it's, I, it's dead. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> so I'll try to rattle it. Nope, failed. It's a pretty tough grate. Do we need to consider being able to put it back in after we take it out? Nah, uh, that's for them to deal with. No. Okay. Hella, do you feel well enough that you can assist here? I feel we need maybe some more... Strength. Yes. <laughs> or a hammer. She's fine. She's got full toughness. Or a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if you hammer, like, the stone part, you know, that we're trying to... Is that like the storm out there? There's, there's intense thunder out there, yeah. Oh, is there? Mm. You can hear it through the basement well, you guys figure here. that out? I'll oh, right back. You left your windows down? I don't believe I did. Are we, like, <laughs> taking, are we taking turns right now in any way, or are we just kind of... No, just kind of... I mean, you're kind of giving yourself our hands. Okay. And I'm moving up here then, too. And if the bars were unaware of me, um, they took double damage. You weren't attacking. You were trying to... <laughs> Shake them. <laughs> I guess I'm going to hammer it. Because Don't kick me. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Ow, stop kicking me. Stop putting your feet in the way. <laughs> sorry, what are you saying? Just... Dan, I want to hit it with a hammer. Hit it with a hammer. We'll count it as poor defense. So you hit it on twos. Okay. And the book only gives me a toughness value, so... No we'll armor. Just, we'll just say it doesn't have any armor. So we're up to five, because she just got four. Four mm -hmm. successes. Four successes, and then plus one for the hammer, right? Mm. So we're done. That's six. So attacking it is separate from trying to wrench it free. Oh. Now you're just making up rules. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone have a file? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you did... Four, you did five damage to it, right? Mm-hmm. Seems like. What does that mean? Now it's damaged. Yeah, so you're you're trying to, like, break the bars of it while the the rest of them were, sh like, shaking it, trying to get it, get all the bars free instead. Gotcha. So there's two different things you can do here. So I'm, like, yeah, like, bending the bars or, like, denting them. Right. What's that? What? Yuck. <laughs> Tim, stop looking at my screen and all this. I was looking at my there. screen. <laughs> Are you just zoomed out enough? Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Some of you might notice some things popping up down below. Jesus. They look mm. familiar. 
you see what looks like a big old rat ogre, but it's uh, covered in armor plates and has big old weapon attachments on its hands, flanked by uh, a couple of what you know are what storm are vermin. What are they doing? It's what walking. It's what's walking into us. <laughs> what the heck is Dan doing now? They show up on the map. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna yeah. go back to initiative. So now we are in combat. Um, so it's going to be, I'm just double checking how fast these guys are. They're, They're not as slow. fast as the gutter runners, so it's uh, the initiative four first. Captain Hines says, get that open, we'll slow them down with bullets. And they rush forward to shoot the closest storm vermin. Oh, I didn't check what the storm vermin defense is. It is... How do I get rid of poison? You have to have a long rest. Yeah. Mm. You yep. can't get it rid of it for a while. Their defense is average. Welcome to what I was dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Just... So they kablam. For five damage. Let's go. Whew. Those blunderbusses really don't uh, work. Yeah, for real. Because their success is plus two damage. It's real good. Uh, and they're not doing half damage now, so... Five damage. All right. They don't quite kill the closest one, but they do a significant blow to it. Uh, Doug and Soil, you're up. Question. Did mm -hmm. I move up with the rest of the group? I'm no longer waiting. I put you up there because I just assumed you would have gone up there with them. Thank you. I feel you. like it would have been foolish. I appreciate that. Stay way back. <laughs> that would have been real bad, GM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Soil, you're all alone because you didn't move your token. He's done that enough to us in other shows. It's fine. <laughs> well, Tuberus says, posture up, nerds, round two. Yeah. <laughs> you missed all my other encounters on the way here, so by passing all your stealth and stuff, <laughs> I'm going to make you pay. Yeah, but that's the, thi that's the thing. I mean, we technically called it. You never did fully say we were out of combat, so we <laughs> Okay, so I would love to continue shaking this, but with poison, I only have two dice, and it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't do very much. And you're on the inside of the gate, the grate, too. No, I'm on the outside. I thought you teleported in. No, I didn't have another move act. I had already shadow leaped yeah. to get to the gate. Oh. I was just asking if it would be a benefit if I... Oh, so you already moved your guy back. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah so you're out there. Okay, uh, well... Uh... <laughs> well, Arcane Missile, one of them. The one that uh, they damaged a whole bunch, so. whatever it's called, a mm. uh, Rudy Tooty Point and Shooty, and the Arcane Bolt. Yeah, that one. Is that because that's range long, right? I don't know. Probably. No, it's only range medium. Mm. You are not in range. All right. Uh, yeah. If we lose connection. Wait. What do you mean? No. There's a lot of thunder going away. on. This entire T here is one thing, right? So they're medium. So they're in the next one. Um. I By guess the way, that is how drawn. I marked it out. Yeah. All right, fine. Okay. What are you going to shoot at? The one that was damaged. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, defense is average. Well, it's an arcane bolt, so. Oh, yeah, duh. I'll just have three success levels. Oh, so three damage? Mm hmm. All right. Uh, so it's not quite dead yet. Uh, and then I'll use a metal and I'll. There's a puppy in the office. Huh? Dog just came in. Oh. How did she get down here? Hi, Georgia. Oh, Georgia. you must be really scared of the storm if you came down here with strangers. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, and not then, strangers, but you're scared of everybody. We'll use metal and we'll make another might test. Uh, we didn't get anything. All right. Yeah, so it will be an action to try to either, obviously an action if you want to attack the grate, hey, or if you're trying to open it up. And that's Doug. Hey, Georgia. Soil? What are you doing? Hurry, add Georgia to the game. There was, I was on a stream. What was was it? The twenty four hour stream where she came down and I picked her up to show her off on camera. I think so. I think I was. Wasn't I here for that? Maybe. Oh, maybe it was, it was that, a, a that hobby hangout. Yeah, yeah. The hobby hangout with the three of us. We need to do that again because that was so much fun. I agree. All right, Soya, what are you thinking? All right, I'm going to go tinkle. I'm pretty certain that means you can't attack me while I'm gone. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to make a roll for it, so I can do I can do that. <laughs> I guess we just keep on blasting. So are you going to blast the one that's hurt or somebody else? Because I, I stepped away. What is it fully that we're looking at here? So it's another one of those storm fiends that you fought down in the bottom of the cog fort. 
that you know are oh, the, big and tough and have the one armor. that's got the little minion on the back of yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, four storm vermin, which are the ones that took off all of uh, Daria's armor. Okay. With rend on their halberds. Now is the big thing like moving kind of slow like. This is going to be on top of us in like a matter of minutes. I think they're all normal speed, so they can move just like you guys. Mm. Uh, the rat, the storm fiend, does get one medal as well, and what's like the, the rat ogre did. Okay. And what is the progress on this gate? Uh, Hella smacked it once for a pretty good amount of damage, and Daria and Doug have just been trying to shake it loose. So there's two different ways you can deal with the grate by attacking it or trying to remove it. Does and so you have a little bit of progress on both. Actually, literally the same amount of progress on both. So the gate looks like it's about to open up? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, I suppose I'll just keep on blasting. Let's aim first at the one that's already taken some damage. Okay. That's... Uh, you need at least three successes. Well, I'm, looks uh, like I'm going to do yeah, four successes because I can apply that focus. All right, so one goes down. And then I'm going to use a metal to do it again. Do it again? I'll do what, it again. Are you tanking another Storm Vermin or the Storm Fiend? Uh, let's put a shot into that Storm Fiend, maybe. Okay, start doing some damage to it. Because you know it takes a lot. Mm. Nothing can be a royal pain in the butt. Yup. That's one success. Oh no, that's only no damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of ones. What did you do? <laughs> uh, I tried to imitate you. Oh. <laughs> You're poisoned now? <laughs> no, no, I still have dice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just... Alrighty, so it is my Storm Vermin's turns at initiative three. Uh, so, looks like your crew are in trouble. <laughs> As the Storm Vermin start to make their way up there, they, they can have plot armor. They're fine. <laughs> move up into that zone. They're supposed to live. And then right? attack. <laughs> uh, let's see. They do have average defense, so that might do something for them. And let's roll with their rusty halberd against them. Only, whoa. What? None. No it's, successes. It's rusty, so it just breaks. Oh, yeah, no successes. That's What's weird, it says damage one, but it's <laughs> I got four successes with two sixes. So I'm pretty sure they have no more armor. Uh, the dam Oh, because damage is one. I must have put that in wrong. They can't just be one. Yep, it can be. That's what it says. <laughs> That's what it says. That's what we're going with. It's in Foundry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put it, it in Foundry. It's I put it in wrong. No, 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 no. Luckily, uh, thank you again, Cubicle 7, we got the uh, official um, Soulbound Bestiary um, module here. So it should be one plus successes. That's what I thought. I'll have to drag in the proper tokens so they do five damage and rend two armor from the cogsmith so they have no armor anymore um and they they killed a few of the people and that was the first one. Oh, great so now you know if you want to try to keep your crew friends alive it's another thing added here in addition to getting this gate open Oh my god, I had the same roll. Six, six, four, four. So <laughs> five more damage. Oof, they're almost dead. There's only a few left. And there's one more storm vermin. Ooh, nope. this could be bad. Bye. Oh, they got three successes. So they kill all the crew except for Captain Hines. I'm going to have him separate. Oh my god. <laughs> that is Captain unfortunate. Hines is Crying. Oof. Okay, uh, that's not good. It's really not. Oh, the Storm Fiend's even faster. Oops. Uh, so Storm Fiend's going to go up on the other side and fire its rattling guns. So it's got 
like uh, Gatling guns for hands, and it just it climbs up on the other side uh, uh, across that from where the storm vermin went, and it spins them up. And it shoots rats? And then <laughs> shoots <laughs> bullets, oh. but a lot of them. And let's see, who are we going to shoot at? Um, we're going to shoot at soil because the rat sees you as a natural enemy being a sylvaneth out here. Well, <laughs> that's not very nice. And we are going to double our training because that's what these big guys like to do. And we... Uh, what is the damage on these? So we got five successes. Oh, fuck. Ooh, that could be bad. The rattling gun. Clicked on the wrong thing. Storm Fiend, that's what I want. Okay, so it's only success damage. So it is five damage to soil. So I have two armor. Does that take it? Yes. So I just take three. I will take that for now. And then, uh, let's see, who was that? Uh, Daria takes two damage as no. it has spread. I don't. So as it's like spraying back and forth, it hits you as well for half damage. Uh, let's see, you can make a 4-1 body reflex test. Opposed by the attack roll to avoid taking damage. I did get five successes, though. So I don't know if we can even get five successes or more. Um. Oh, if you have a higher defense in the target of the attack. Is your defense higher than Soil's? Helps to read the whole rule. I mean, I'm at poor. You should be good. Yours is poor? Yeah. I can't wear armor. Yeah, but that I'm surprised your defense is that low. Am I doing the reflexes test? Oh, you don't need to. Oh, or, okay. Yes, because your defense is higher, you have a chance to not okay. get hit. But you need five successes at least. So can you get that many? I don't even think I No, I don't think so. Right? Because I can only do four dice. You can't. Oh, well, you could use metal now. And double my training. Yeah. Well, you might as well try. Your turn, yeah. You, yeah, you do recover one at the start of your turn, so. So that I succeeded with two additional successes. All right, so not quite enough. Uh, so you do take <gasps> two damage. You take half the damage. I'll just round down. Bless I'll be a little nice. No. And round Half down. damage? So... I only take one. Okay. <laughs> all right. And now it is Darius' turn, because that was all my initiative four. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to shoot oh, at this. Oh, no one else this... at initiative four is going to go? You already went. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. Since they moved up and in? Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't. What? He didn't go. Well, you had your turn for this round. Oh, okay. Because players at, initi at the same initiative as enemies go first. Gotcha. So technically, okay. uh, I got my initiatives mixed up a little bit. The Storm Vermin are initiative three, so technically Derry would go before them. Gotcha. If that would matter, I don't know. You might. It depends if you want to keep going after the gate or whatnot. No, I'm gonna shoot this handbow uh, hand at the the one dude, the big dude. Shoot the handbow at the big dude. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. What's their defense? What's his defense? Good. Uh, good question. It is superb. Shit. Sheesh. <laughs> um. All right. I got a metal back since it's the start of my turn. Mm -hmm. So I'll double my training. And let's. Actually, no. Let me double my focus. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Well, Ooh. how many six? I can get one success. True. But you know it's got armor, so. So I don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. And if your bolt plings off one of its big, thick armor, plate, armor plates, 
And it is then Hella's turn. My turn. <laughs> My turn. I'm moving over. Where am I? I'm here. I'm moving over here. I have to protect the captain. I've lost all of the other people. I'm attacking one of them. Oh, she's guys. going to attack the storm vermin. Heck yeah, I gotta save people. Okay. Axe. Hammer. Whatever it is. Hammer. Hammer. Uh, <laughs> average defense. Guy? So I need threes, fours. Uh, you're, yes, you need threes. I have three successes. And is this on the injured one or one of the fresh ones? Plus two, right? For damages. So we're on five. Wait, what? What? There's no more injured. There's no, oh. all the injured ones were deaded. Oh, there were four originally? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Three successes. Okay, so I think I was looking at your sheet wrong before. The great hammer is just straight up. Uh, plus two damage, so that your sheet's not counting the the plus even with it activated. It doesn't seem to be counting the plus one there, so that's going to be six damage. Nice. Uh, which again doesn't quite take him out, but really hurts. All right, and I'm going to use metal and attack one again. Try to take him out. Sure. All righty. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which one. I need to kill them all. <laughs> uh, three successes. All right, that definitely does it. Nah. So she gets mad seeing Hind, all the crew go down. She jumps down and just wails on that one a couple times. And it's dead. I am mad. Um, so back to the top, Captain Hines uh, is like, I, I, I'm so sorry. And he's going to use his action to... Uh, is there like a... Like, fall back? There's Flee? Retreat. Retreat? But we all have to agree. Oh, because you can just leave the combat, effectively. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's not, I don't think there's any rules for, like, leaving a combat like that. So he's going to move up to the gate instead and try to help there. Um, so he's going to make a body might test. He knows he's totally outmatched down there. He just left you there. He did. He thought it was for the better. He gets two successes. Let's go. He's scared. He's, you know, wrenching at this <laughs> gate, trying to shake it free, and you see it. It I looks mean, pretty close. All, all his people just died. Yeah, he he's also freely crying and very upset. You know, the, their blood is all over him from these Skaven. Mm. He probably has some damage on himself as well. Uh, but uh, looks Doug and Daria right up there. This looks pretty close to being wrenched free. And it's Doug or Soil's turn. <clears throat> and then the Storm Fiend will go after you two. Storm Fiend. Well. Do you want to keep working on it? Uh, on the gate, I'm not been doing very well with that. Um, I will, however. Uh, let's let's try to blast some of the storm storm vermin. <laughs> storm vermin. So we'll make a uh, arcane bolt. Do it. That'll be two successes with focus. Okay. So you see your arcane bolt kind of splash against the scave and it doesn't seem to harm them. But this time, however, when I use my metal to do it again... Oh, uh, it'll have the same result. It'll have the same result. It's actually, actually worse. worse. Yeah. <laughs> really uh, and then I'll use my move action to shadow step behind the gate. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. Uh, I'm out. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Soil. Fuck. Oh, shit. This gate's almost open, though. Uh... It looks close to being torn out. We don't want them to follow us, though, either. So, like, <laughs> we I should think... take them out. Well, now there's less of us, so maybe... Wait, can you shadow step with a person? No. Can we no, call... that's what I asked mm. before, too. At least, I don't know. I've never read it. Let's see. No, looks like just me. Hmm. What was the question? If you could shadow leap with a person. Oh, right, yeah. He can't take anybody. Okay. <laughs> um, He's already good enough. So I'm going to try something here. I like the sound of that. See if this works, but this could also turn negative. Go big or go home. 
I got to on this one. So I'm going to try and use Arcane Wave. Mm. Cool. What so, does that do? So Arcane Wave, I just send out a massive wave of mystical energy. And uh, each creature in the zone must make a DN4S body test. So whatever successes that I have. On a failure, a creature is knocked prone and suffers one damage. Each additional success increases the damage by one. Oh, yeah, you did this one before. Yeah, and it didn't really work too well. Because it worked that's... for me and knocked me prone, and then I stood there <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Right, because it only works on creatures in your zone. So you couldn't move somewhere else first. Otherwise, you're just knocking down Daria Us. and <laughs> Captain Hines. All right, so, yeah. This is going to be a rough one. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to move. Who are you going to pick? I'm going to move closer to the fiend. Okay. And I'm going to... I'm gonna really let loose on this one. Uh, yeah. Try and do this. So I'm out. Uh, just to be, con- you know, make sure everything's good. If I use this, since I'm in that zone, I'm not affecting them. Right. Okay. You were counting the the bridge that, like, where you guys are in front of the gate is that middle zone. Gotcha. So yeah, I'm gonna move up to that thing. I'm gonna double my training because uh, I need at least a five uh, on this one. So let's try and get as many as we can here. So Soil faces down the Storm Fiend all alone. Pretty much. Cast <laughs> Arcane Wave. So what does this look like? Well, let's see if you cast it first. <laughs> I, was I mean, if you want to <laughs> say I did it. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be a little positive here for you guys. <laughs> all right, hopefully here we go. That's Woo-hoo! three well, successes. Okay. Um... So, yes, apply that prone. So, yeah. Uh, well, no, you got to... I have to fail it first, right? Yeah, you got to try. You, Here's you the good news. Four success levels, right? Yeah, Storm Fiend has ten dice for this. Fuck. <laughs> it makes seven successes. <laughs> oh, is that all? <laughs> huh. I was like, oh, is he going to cast it on the Storm Fiend? Because that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, well, at least it still does damage. No. Nothing. What do you mean, no? I have to fail the test to be knocked prone and suffer damage. Oh, it's for both? Yes, it's on a, on a failure, cre- a creature is knocked prone and suffers one damage. Oh. Oof. That was harsh. Well. Uh, it's it's turn, and somebody... Oh, hold does... on, he has... No, he already has a... I used my metal yeah, to get over not. there to make sure I tried to have as many chances as possible. Well, it was nice knowing you. Yeah. So it walks up and tries to club you with its rattling cannons. What? A, your defense is poor, right? Uh huh. This is gonna be a lot of damage. He's gonna double his focus or double his training because that's what they do. No. Stop! Just stop making faces. Just like tell that. me just what, tell it, what, what happened. What's going on? We were so close. I so just like. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? I succeeded with ten additional successes. Wow. For 11 damage. Take away two, so that's nine. Take away four. Hold, hold on. What's your armor? Two. So the clubbing blows, because it's he's hitting you with like the barrels of these rattling cannons, it counts as... It... <laughs> 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 Thank you, x Where's the sticker? Oh, no. There's not one. That was uh, the sound for... Oh, uh, for gifting some subs. Gift subs. Oh, thanks, x I thought it was a sticker slap down there. Um, so it's ineffective, so you double your armor. Okay. So at least there's that. So yeah. I double my armor? So you, yeah, so you reduce it by four, four instead of two. Four. Nice. Okay, so from 11... Uh, seven. Seven. I have five toughness. Okay. So or you take a serious, serious wound. wound. So I have zero toughness at this point, and I take yet another serious wound. Okay. Yikes. Uh, it's the Storm Vermin's turn. No, there no, it's my turn. turn. I'm oh, going to, you said that this gate looks pretty loose. Yep. I know uh, we're just going to, we're going to go for it. So what is that? Uh, might? Body might. Yep. You need threes to succeed. It's funny, I can see where your cursor is on Foundry, but, like, you're going over a character sheet right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so defaulted to four being the success. So I see you got a three there. So that's actually two successes, which gives you enough to wrench this gate free, and now it is open. Okay. And Heinz... uh, Oh, he would have. I forgot about his turn there. Uh, he's like, it's open! Run! Run! 
and he goes and runs in past, uh, what's his name, Doug. Bye. Daria, you that was just one action, so you can yeah. you can move in there if you want. Or you move. can metal to do whatever. Oh, I do have metal. Okay, let me use my metal to at least maybe help soil out maybe a little bit. <laughs> so repeater hand bow. What's the you said it's got superb. Superb. Jesus. Because its might is so high, I think. Is what yeah, it's nothing. From. So No, what's it? Reflexes. Oh, the reflexes are crazy <laughs> high. All right, so you, your bolt Again. goes past it this goes time. Past. Uh, did you want to move into the tunnel? Yeah, let's move. All right, now it's the storm vermin against Hella. They see that people are fleeing, and they're going to attack you with their rusty halberd. Your defense is average, right? Yeah. All right, we got three damage, four damage. Um, do I, I still have my armor? You have... Cause my runes? Yes, because yeah. we did it. We went back into initiative, so your runes reignited. So at least you reduced okay. that by one. And then the other one is going to do the same thing, try to kill you, and they get three damage. So how much... Sorry, what was the first one? How much is it total? Five? Uh, so the first one got four, so you take three toughness, and the second one did... Three, so you take two toughness. So, okay. yeah, five total. Five total, yeah. You were cool. right. And it's your turn. And Heinz is, like, shouting the retreat. Smashing them with a hammer! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what else do I do? I for one. Oh, you're going to have to remind me again what my successes are. I keep forgetting. Uh, Their defense is average, so you need threes. Four successes on that first roll. Boah, seven damage? Yo, so you take one out in one hit. Boom. Wham! With this... Metal. Oh, with this rune and activated. going for the other one. Bring it. And that's three successes. Done. Let me triple check. I'm doing this. You are. He, they're great. done. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with this, sir. We're done with them. <laughs> It's like a oh, uh, whack-a-mole. Oh, agree. yeah, Great Hammer is two plus. Whack-a-rat. Okay, yeah. so yeah, it is plus three uh, when your rune is activated. So that was how much you had? I had three successes that time. So six damage is not quite dead. It's not dead yet. It's close. It's got five toughness and two armor, so. And then you're going to run. You still have your move. <laughs> but... Oh, or, you know, you can hold I mean, up the enemy for your friends to get away as you die in glorious battle. That's up to you. What? These things are only going to follow us, aren't they? You just took out the whole crate. Seems that way. Unless we can kill them. It depends on what, what is taking precedent here. Your, your like, uh, commanding officer is ordering the retreat, but you took this oath. That's a tough one. He's not our commanding officer. <laughs> I mean, Soulbound do act outside of things, but he's a captain. I'm not sure how Hella thinks of him. Mm. So you're going to stay or you're going to use your move I mean, to go? I can only move to one other zone, right? Yeah, so like you could get up in front of the grate. So like if you want, you could move up to here. And then next turn, you can move into the tunnel. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna move there. I like that. I'm gonna see what happens with my friend Soil over here. All right, so I can't reach the guy. Yeah. Top of the next round, uh, Captain Hines is again. He's ordering the treat. He's trying to run down the tunnel. There's like ankle deep uh, sewage, mostly water, flowing out towards you. So it's kind of slower going, but he's moving along. And uh, Doug and Soil get to go before the Storm Fiend. All right, I'm going to try to cast Enslave on the Storm Fiend again. Bring it. Or on this one. And I'm going to use my metal to double my training. Wait, on which one? The Storm Fiend or the Storm The Storm German? Fiend. Okay. That's the big one, right? Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. So we're going to try to enslave it again. All right, so he'll need a Soul Determination test if you're successful. Double our training. 
Well. <laughs> Failed, missing two. Mm-hmm. Shoot. <laughs> so we'll only, oh, what is we'll the only price be missing of failure one. this time. Only missing one after focus. Okay, so something we've forgotten about a lot. People have brought up, uh, like in the YouTube comments, uh, Soul Fire. Mm. We do have. If everybody agrees to use it when oh. someone wants to, you can use it. You have four Soul Fire because you start with four characters. Um, if not everybody agrees, you can still say whatever. I'm going to do it. You spend the soul fire, you get the effect, but then doom increases by one. So what does what? How could this benefit me? You can re-roll all the dice, or no, you can re-roll as many dice as you like, so you can keep the successes and re-roll the others. Okay. Um, if you use it before making a test, you can just say I rolled all sixes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can regain a medal during your turn. Or not even during your turn. You just immediately regain all spent metal. You can recover all of your toughness, which I forgot about. We should have oh, probably yeah. used this instead of Hella drinking 100 drops. But it also restored a wound, which was a big deal. Uh, or you can cheat death. You can basically use it like a fate point in WFRP and not die. Okay, so what if we were to use this and I was to re-roll these two things, right? Yeah. So uh, The odds of that are probably okay-ish. You just need to roll one more five up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out of two dice, I'd say you get that. I'd say I would, too. <laughs> I know how I rolled. Though. Do you want to do that? Is everyone cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Any what dissent? Does increased doom mean? That's if only if we doom. disagree, we though, right? If yeah. we agree, we just spend the soul so fire. So a couple things have, uh, depend oh. on doom. Like when you had those swarms of clan rats, they were the size of the party plus doom. So as doom increases, you face tougher enemies. Some enemies have like uh, damage is equal to successes plus doom. It can get really crazy. Mm. Things like that. Doom is just worse for you, of course. Okay. But like if you get to the point where you only have one or two soul fire left, and you're like, I don't think that's worth the soul fire. I don't agree. Then sometimes it's that other person might be like, well, I, I think it is worth it. I'm going to do it and increase doom. So, if everybody agrees, we can well, spend the soul fire and, and not doom increase can it. be reduced. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are certain things you can do to reduce doom. Yeah. As written in the adventure. So we're all gravy? Yeah. I'm I'm in agreement. Yeah. We got to get out of here. All right. Got to reduce soul fire by one. Oh, so Whoa! Just... Yeah, you yeah. didn't heard that's four successes. Boom. Oh, did you just chicka chicka cow? Wait, did, you... did you have an option to use soul fire? Yeah. Nope. Yep. Like to click it there? So yeah. I right clicked, then I said add, uh, apply soul fire, re roll, and it gets minus one soul fire, and then it lets you choose which dice you want to re roll. That's awesome. It's very nice. I don't see all that on my end. Because I went to click reduce soul fire, and it yeah. went down to two because I didn't realize you did it automatically. That's really cool. Yeah, no. All right, so you, okay, now I get a chance to stop this. <laughs> no, soul you determination. Can't. I need to roll five, I need to roll four successes. That's all. Uh, here's the good news I succeeded with zero additional successes no. with one die. <laughs> So you enslave the the thing. Oh, he only has one die. <laughs> he only had one die. Oh, oh he's okay. mine now. Great. Yes. Then. Yeah. So oh, let's see. Marvelous. Uh, on the failure, the creature is under your control. As a free action, <laughs> you can issue a simple command such as "protect me" or "follow them." The creature completes a task to the best of their ability. Duration. It says instant, but how long does it end up lasting? Oh, he has to keep making tests. Forever. To Oh. And because he only has one die, oh, right. At the he'll start of his it. turn, he has to make a test to see if he can break it. Wow. Nice. Let's do it. So I will tell him as a free action to protect us. Protect us or go oh, kill the it other... Takes damage. Or go kill the other vermin. I have to spend an action on that. Oh. I've already used my metal. Oh, okay. Okay. And soul fire. Yes. Do you like announce this? Like I have the creature under my control? Yes, yes. Uh, don't worry, he'll take care of it. The big one will take care of the little one and then probably replace the grate and guard the hole. Okay. All right, uh, soil. Like that was great. I love that we actually use soul fire. Whew. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> that would have been a great time for the Colossus roar. <laughs> soil, how dead are you? <laughs> <laughs> Not. So quite. so dead. Not quite dead yet. Just uh, you know, not feeling the greatest. Yeah, you're. Yeah, I mean, soil's on the edge. Any more damage and soil's next hit, dead. next hit will put me immortally wounded. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Soil's wound track is full. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna. 
limp my wounded butt behind that gate. All right. So <laughs> you get into the tunnel. Uh, and then I'll use a... Uh, I'll use my metal, because that's my action, right? That was your move. Oh, that's my move? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use Realm Blood on myself. Do it. <laughs> Fail. And uh, I'm going to double my training using my metal for that. How um, funny would that be? <sighs> oh, opposite. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I poisoned myself. Um, look. And that's only one success. So, yeah. Hey, All you right, have toughness well, again. I have. Look at that. So you got plus one toughness. That gives you basically two hits. Sort Wait. of. Yeah, not really. <laughs> All right. Well, you're feeling a little better. <laughs> a little? It is the Storm Fiend's turn. So uh, what is what do you command it to do? Protect us. Okay. So it, it sees that as going over and attacking the Storm Vermin. Sure. I think makes sense. Actually, no. It's just going to stand there and shoot the Storm Vermin. Yeah. With its Man. rattling gun. And uh, really as gun. as we leave, command it to shoot itself, please. <laughs> no, it has to. No, it's got to guard. Gate. Yeah, it's going to guard, guard the gate. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can't have it hurt itself. That, that'll that break it. Only had one toughness list. It dies. I did it. So it nice. killed it, and then it starts stomping its way up to the grate to, like, guard the gate. Guard the grate. And it's Hella's turn. The storm fiend is stomping towards you. Boom, boom, boom. He's fine. He's fine. He'll he'll put the gate back. He'll protect our exit. Well, it, it's it's all right. We're out of combat. If I was a GM. Yeah, I was gonna say, what else is here to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm going. I'm going through the through the gate. Look, there there we are. All right. So you go into there. Uh, and you're all in. The. Tunnel. I don't know why it just forgot how to talk for a second. You run along and says you and the Captain Hines wade along the outflow pipe, the noise of screeching skaven and the clatter of claws on steel echoing at your back and filling your ears. That part, not well, as the storm fiends fighting off more that show up, you think if you keep on your feet, you can outrun them. But where you're headed, you, you start to hear the rush of water and a trickling stream at your feet begins to rise up to slosh around your ankles and knees. Captain Hines shouts for all for you all to halt. He's found a metal hatch along the ceiling of the pipe. Working together, you climb on top of each other and leverage the ha rusty hatch open to haul everyone up to safety. As the last of you is pulled up, a rush of water fills the pipe, the noise drowning out the ratman's screams as they're washed out the way they came. We've done it. Well, that was close. We did it. We saved the we day. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did we it. Did it. Also, yeah. yeah. We've also opened a pathway into this fort now. No, the I'm storm fiend is there. Well, he no, the rushing away. water. The well, rushing I, water. I, is. He's big enough. He wouldn't have been washed away. I want right? him to be replacing the gate anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right? Heinz is like, well, I, I think they may have just stopped the flow of water for us to get in. Now that it's rushing out again, there's uh, no way Skaven can get inside. Oh, okay. Uh, Splendid. Oh, I, I, I mean, we're not there just yet. You, you look around and you see it's just, you know, sewers that you're in. Not necessarily like, um, that, but when you went in the pipe, it was just a single large straight pipe. Uh, here it's, you know, there's hallways and things. You're in a uh, relatively well-maintained sewer. It looks like people have been down here in the last decade or so. Decade. <laughs> Great. So our next challenge is a maze. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what do you do? We navigate back to the city or to the city yeah. for the first time. For yeah, most we're people. going towards the city. You just want to keep on moving. Yeah. Yes. Keep on keeping yeah. on. Oh, I'll actually make a sandwich. I was gonna say, what do you want us to do? Stop and have a picnic? Well, I would. Do you want to take a breather after that? Restore yes. your toughness. Yes, we should take a okay. breather. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Remind. Remind Hi. me. Hi. Oh, that's a dog. We can heal wounds. Uh, we uh, have so to take a long rest. Yeah, you have to take a long rest for that. Taking a breather uh, okay. will give you all your toughness back. Okay. It takes ten minutes. Let's do that. So like, you have a sandwich, drink a water, maybe. Uh, kind of represents you. You don't have to Where spend do aqua diuranus. Where do you Oh, I have. I mean, not a ton left. But you, you uh, you didn't steal it, <laughs> right? It you, was uh, loaned, right? You're gonna pay for it between when you the two of the you. Port. You figured that whole yeah. little like when I return to the port, I'll probably pay for it. 
Uh, yeah, so you get uh, taking a breather only restores your toughness, nothing else. Um, and then everyone needs to make a 5 2 body fortitude test. Real quick, the bonus to my armor from that combat session is gone now, right? When you he gave had... me a bonus because the guy would just sat there and beat the shit out of me with his uh, Gatling gun. Oh, that was the because the weapons had the quality ineffective. Bro, oh, okay. Because so I... he was basically hitting you with like the barrel of a gun, you know? Yeah, yeah. So... I failed. The I bonus was just succeeded. for that particular attack. All right. And what was it that we were rolling again? Five, fortitude. two, might, fort, body fortitude. I failed. Two. That's where my luck ends. All right. Hang on, I'm setting it up. And I got two successes. Look at who. All right, so was it On just... sixes, it too. Was me. That is a double success with sixes, so I feel Five like stars. I should get, like, extra treatment here. <laughs> oh, boy. So the elves failed here, which kind of makes sense as you're... No, squiggly. I succeeded. Oh, I thought you said you and no, Doug I failed. No, I succeeded. Oh, Hella and I failed. failed. Shockingly, I failed. Oh, well, okay, yeah. okay. That's fun. So, let me just double check this. Uh, okay, so I don't think the stack, luckily for Doug, because you're now both poisoned from taking a breather in the sewers. Oh, nothing new. Wait, I am? Yes. So minus one I to don't... all tests. Well, that makes Why sense. are you poisoned? I'm... Oh, because cause I... of the nastiness in the sewer. Yeah. Got you it. have something that protects against poison? So I do. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know it was poison. So it's just Doug doubly poisoned. Stomach, I'm just so poisoned right now. <laughs> double the dice. Double the dice. Oh. Training. Okay. So. Fortitude. So I should have had an extra die. Okay. So roll one more die to see if you can pass. Okay. And technically, I don't breathe. Oh, that's fair. You just <laughs> ing I you like ingest fail. the fumes, okay. I suppose. Good catch there. Uh, with the uh, iron stomach, I so I applied it to you already. Make good air. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're minus one to all te all dice pools until you take a long rest to get rid of it. Oh God. We just have to think with that joke. That means in everything, I burp and fart oxygen. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, what, so what a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Excuse you. Captain Hines says, "Uh, well, I." <laughs> I've been in the city a, a few times, but never in the sewer, so I guess we need to try to find our way. Uh, everybody can make a... Uh, uh, see how many four-ups you get on a mind awareness or mind survival test here to try to find your way to the surface. Wait, does poisoning affect this? Yes. What's the, what's the role for this one? Uh, mind awareness or survival, and you're looking for four fours. One, four one? Just as how many? It's another group test. I got to add up all your successes. What is the poison effect though for me? You roll minus you let one less die. Okay, then I Always. don't get to roll. Oh jeez, you're like I don't know, man. Tell me where to go. Hit things. Uh, that's one success for myself. So two successes total for our group. Okay, so that is not nearly enough. <laughs> Jesus. You, you needed eight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, to avoid something which you guys are probably not going to like very much in the state that you're currently in. Oh, unfortunately, I got to get rid of this swarm of Cogsmiths I already put on the map. As you're wandering through the sewers, you run afoul of some grots who are not happy about you stumbling into their home. And they look and they're like, what? So grots are the Age of Sigmar term for goblins. Oh, no. As they are mad that you've entered their home uh, on the map here, there are two swarms of goblins, and they are not happy to see you and uh, are clearly on the offensive. It is soil. It is uh, initiative four first. Well, they look offensive, to be fair. Uh, so again, they have a larger token to represent. They are a swarm. In each swarm, you see five grots huddled together. Hmm. Uh, so I gotta put that token out there so I can at least I didn't put stats in for Captain Hines so I'm just gonna have put a Cogsmith token there so we know I know what he does did you want me to go? So who's going first? Oh, so zones here. I will map out real quick as you discuss what you might want to do. 
so a quick thought and everything um, for our for my friends who are more on the persuasive side perhaps we could try a bit of parlay you could try talking to them you know maybe offer them that sandwich as peace offering and mm. just say we're just trying <laughs> look at how many of them there are one sandwich won't feed them all an offering of more You've said you've got some supplies yet. Well, I said I only had a little left. I could offer them maybe two sandwiches, but not ten. That's way more than I can provide. I'm just thinking... We're at the city. I'm not trying to hold back on them. I understand <laughs> that, but I'm just thinking maybe we should find a peaceful route here as we are all not quite well. Um, hello, my friends. Uh, we're just passing through. Uh, we did not mean to disturb you. Uh, I do have um, a sandwich, if you would like it, uh, for safe travel through your um, lair. And they call back something in their grot language, mm -hmm. and they sound angry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. He is a tree, and he's very uncouth. But uh, maybe two sandwiches. Uh... So you get the, the feeling that they don't understand you. I don't think they understand what a sandwich is. Well, not quite what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe what if you tried to take over one of them and make them like kind of speak on our behalf? You know, it's just, I, just, <laughs> I feel like that hasn't been working very well for me today. Um, <laughs> Chess says if they don't go for two sandwiches, <laughs> they're being unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um... I can't mind. I can't enslave a swarm, right? It'd just be one in the swarm. I, uh, maybe. How does the target is one? Yeah, so I guess that it would be the whole swarm. So then. I'd have to double check how the rules for swarms work. And they're probably immune to psychology. I feel like that's pretty common. Okay, so Swarm can't be disarmed and is only affected by conditions that target a zone or area, such as the spell Mystifying Miasma. Hmm. It doesn't say anything specific about, like, that, but, yeah, I mean, it's meant to represent a group of them together. Right. So I, I would, I would, I feel like targeting, when the target's one, targeting a whole swarm by the book seems like you could do it. It just I, feels I, like it doesn't make sense. I actually agree with you that if I targeted it, it'd be one of the five and not the whole deal. This would, um, just kind of makes sense that it worked that way. I feel like rules is written, it would affect the whole swarm. So in that case, I'll shoot an arcane bolt. Cool. At left, uh, the east or west swarm, left or right there? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to open up MS Paint nine times by accident. Um, <laughs> the left swarm. Okay. Do what I dare you. Oh, I'll try. That'll be two successes. Wow, you succeeded. So two damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you see a guard or two taken off their feet, and they're like, Grr! they look real mad now. Um, and then I'll do it a second time, but this time uh, with no successes. <laughs> now, Price one, of failure. It'll be one success. Are you sure? Yes, because I have a focus yeah, point focus. available. Oh, it is a four one. Boom! Test. Look at that. Dang there we it. go. Succeeded with zero additional success. <laughs> all right. Well, you didn't kill them all yet. And then I'm I'll so move excited. behind soil. So you just you, just, you got <laughs> blast them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nuts. All right, Captain Hines raises his the last remaining blunderbuss and shoots at that swarm to try to finish it off. And he does, for sure, with four damage total. Well done. And then he moves up to take cover behind this, like, pile of garbage in the middle here. That's its own separate zone because it represents, like, having to climb up on this pile. Mm -hmm. And soil. So the left one is dead? Yes. There's one swarm left on the right side. It's They were both like up elevated compared to you guys, but since using range attacks, it's not a problem. Because uh, see this whole area down like what's below in this like sewagey part is one zone. Am I able to move into their zone? Uh, yeah, because you can free move where, wherever in your zone, and then you can use your move to, we'll just say kind of, represent climbing up, and then you're in their zone. 
All right, and then let's go for an arcane wave again. All right. Give it a shot. Do it. I'm going to double my training. And this targets the zone, so they actually take double damage from this because they're a swarm. Very nice. Nice. To represent it hitting multiple of them at once. So you might be able to just take him out with a decent Let's roll here. Oh. Oh, uh, that is not a decent roll. Well, mm -hmm. actually, it's not too bad with a focus. That's two, two successes. Yeah, two, two successes. successes. And become, then doubled. Becomes four damage. And they do. I, do I get a test to be knock prone? Or just if they're damaged, they're knock prone? Uh, well, you have to remember this also to do damage as well to see if you're knock prone. Oh, right. I had to do the test for all that. So body might. I need two successes. Uh, I got one success. So you on failed. one whole die. So I could not have passed that anyway. So they take four damage, which almost takes them out. And they're knocked prone. And they are knocked prone. I've done my best on that one. It is up to the rest of you. And we haven't even gone yet. Uh, so it is Darius' turn. Because okay. they're slower than you. I will move a little bit closer. So let's see, while you're prone, what does this do? We'll remind ourselves, can only move by crawling. The creature can use their move to stand up to end the condition. Melee accuracy are decreased one step. A creature attacking a prone target from close range increases their melee or accuracy one step. A creature attacking a prone target from outside close range and decreases their accuracy one step per zone. So they're easier to hit if you're in the same zone with them, harder to hit if you're not in the same zone. Okay. So I can use my free I can use my move then to Move into the zone. Yep. In front of soil here. And then I'll uh, use my hand bow. And so you count your accuracy you one step down. higher. Yeah, count shoot my, while down. My accuracy one step higher. Yep. So that'd be my attacker rating. Yeah. Did I change that to good? Yep. Okay. So you're going to hit them on twos because their defense is poor. On twos? All right, then let me double my focus in here. Their defense is poor. Yeah. Oh! I didn't even have to use my metal. Whoa, how about... Well, oh, gosh! Maximum, they had one wound left, and you did max damage there. As they die, max. one of them calls out something. They just say, like, a word, and you all hear... And then the door on the far side of the room what? smashes open as a dank hold Trogoth smashes its way in. A what? Which is a giant troll. Oh, look at that dank hole. And we'll see how you guys fare next time. Come no. back for part five no. in about a month-ish, sort of. No. Woo! One more big monster. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I love these guys because they're like a troll. With a dank hole. <laughs> they do troll stuff though, like vomit and that can be taken heal. A lot of ways there too. So good. <laughs> oh yeah, so thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Um, if you're watching this later on the YouTube, make sure to check us out on all the socials. Look for Professional Casual or Professional Casual Network um, so you can get all the updates of when we are going live here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Professional Casual Network. Uh, make sure to check out Patreon.com slash Professional Casual uh, to support us that way and get more extra content. Even if you don't pay for it, you can get more Soulbound content for free with a few of our trial games and things. We're trying to get more. Uh, we have more to get up there as well. We played through the Vossheim's Holdouts adventure. That was a blast. Um, we'll get on there as soon as we can as we get it edited as I get it edited, slowly but surely. <laughs> uh, we also have played through of a couple other adventures, The Fateful Night and The Starter Set Adventure, Something Light. Frightful Night. It was Fateful Night and blah, 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 Light. I always get it mixed up and forget. Uh, but thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Jess, Rachel, Mike, and Tim, I guess, also for joining us, for, for playing with us. Thank you, Georgia, for joining us as well down here, the puppy. I say puppy. She's over two now, but she's not really a puppy. Always a puppy. She's a puppy. They're, They're always, always all dogs, dogs are puppies. They're all puppies. I, I totally agree. Uh, and we'll see you around. Bye. Love you.